What's going on, Jabronis? And welcome to a very special Southeast Division edition of Jabroni Sports. Yay. Wait, why is this one special? Uh, because the this Southeast is the special division. The Southeast Division is a very special division. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Not near and dear to my heart. You a lot say of that again. Yeah, I mean, I might at some point. Uh, Who's that voice? That's well. Hold on, hold on. As I said. You're listening to Jabroni Sports. I hope you know that if you got here already. However, uh, you can find us on most forms of social media at Jabroni underscore sports. I am your host, AJ Firstenau. You can find me on Twitter at AJ, F-U-E-R-S-T-E-N-A-U. I am joined today, as always, by... It's your boy, Gonzo. You can catch me on uh, Life Alert. You can check my status, <laughs> make sure I'm upright and doing my thing. Um, otherwise, I'm on Twitter. It's your boy, Gonzo. Uh, and... Yeah, there's other people here too. I didn't know that we could check you on Life Alert. I'm gonna, I'll keep an eye because if if you're dead, then yeah, I mean, or if you're struggling, that'd be a good thing to know. So I know sometimes I fall in and I can't get up, but sometimes the problem is my Life Alert's out of battery. So I mean, uh, I didn't realize how often you got to turn so put I don't, batteries in there. What if I see it? I'm like gonna call nine one one right away. So. Well, no, because it'll show us off, and if it's off, I mean, but whatever. There's, there's only two options though: either it's run out of batteries or you're dead. Yeah. So you realize why that's, I mean, that's not very helpful. Eh, eh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure you understand the concept of life alert. Eh, I get it. <laughs> it's <laughs> to alert people of your life. And if, <laughs> if you're not alerting them, like, then it's their own bu- your own business. You can do your own thing. Hmm. You don't always have to be alerting people like, hey, still alive over here. Sometimes <laughs> you, you just want to be like, you know what, I'm dead. Fine, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> As people in their 30s often do. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Um, also, our host tonight... Uh, Gianni James at G Baby LaFlair. Do you call me the host? I mean, you are a co host, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, what, else, what else would you be? Did you not put that on your uh, <laughs> yeah, resume? What else, what, else, what, else, what else would I call you? Yeah, on my job like, resume, I put co host of a podcast. Yeah, you're, you're a co host. No, you could spice that <laughs> up more. <laughs> co host of an informative news outlet and whatever. No, none know. of that is true. All no, right. But that's how you do it on a resume. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's all lies. And yeah. our guest this evening, we do have a guest with us. Thank you for joining us. Is hello, friends. Uh, it is uh, it's Jim Nance. It's, it's me, uh, Jacob First and Al. Completely different last name. I mean, no not, relation. Not, no relation whatsoever. No relation to the host AJ yeah, First no, and Al. No. Why would it be? But uh, you can find me on on, on Twitter. It's a uh, First and Al, spelled the same way that was spelled earlier. So, but different, 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 but different, different, different totally, person, though. totally different. No, with okay. the three seven at the end. So mm, First that, and Al, that, three seven. Me. Yeah, you know. Because you're born in 1937. Come for those those hot takes. Mm. If you want some hot takes. And and come and stay for the memes. Also, if you want to know how back the Brewers are, I believe that would be be part of your Breaking news? They're not. Brewers are not back. Currently, (laughs) are the Brewers back? No. Nope. No, the Brewers are not back. (laughs) Far from it, actually. Yeah, far, far from it. Oof. Um, You know, the the, the Brewers situation reminds me a lot of uh, of the Southeast Division. Not back. Uh, not, no, <laughs> the Brewers are in better shape than the, the Southeast, Southeast Division. Division. But the Southeast Division is very, it's, it's definitely not back. I mean, or, I mean well, definitely, but nobody, not, definitely not back. But back. nobody no. from the so- Southeast Division could be MVP. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to say that confidently. Very, very confidently. Jimmy Butler? No. Jimmy, things really fell the right way. He's holding the ball enough, and um, he's good at defense, you know. Bradley Beal? Yeah, Bradley Maybe Beal. Bradley Beal goes crazy? <laughs> no. Trey Young takes no, no, no. a second year lead. Hot takes it's, Trey Young. Already, it's like, but that's about Kevin legitimately. Kevin Herter. Legitimately. I'm ready to go on the record and say Steph Curry is going to be your NBA uh, MVP of next season. Burr, burr, burr. Okay, okay. Uh, so you've okay. given it some thought. And I've given it some thought. It's going to be Steph Curry. 2019 or 2020, I guess it would be MVP. 2020, I'm going to win the whole mm-hmm. election. I got, I got Joe Harris winning MVP. <laughs> Joe Harris. Another hot take. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, he's going to ride the momentum of the three-point shootout from last year, I think. Uh, I could see it. And uh, take, take home this season's MVP. Mm-hmm. It's possible. Uh, it's a three-point shooter's league. It's technically not, not likely... But uh, it, it, it is it is possible. I it mean, is possible. Yeah, anything is possible. Same. Thanks, I mean, KG. You did pretty good odds at Vegas. <laughs> you would get great odds at Vegas. So let's start. Uh, let's start Atlanta. I mean, you did you did mention Kevin Herter there a second ago. Herter getting getting a, a little, little little deep divey. Um, I, I think I think the Atlanta Hawks guys don't tell anyone. They might be the most the most interesting team in this division. It could be fun. Definitely um, could be fun. They have two young guys that are good. <laughs> I haven't got paid yet, so that's one. Yep. Uh, today, Vince Carter announced that he is returning for his record 22nd NBA season with wow. those Atlanta Hawks. Gang, gang. Finally. Yep. Finally. Somebody. Were you yeah. concerned? 
I mean, he seemed like he was concerned. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy Lin's still not signed. I mean, I mean, Vince Carter's better than Jeremy he's, Lin. But he's been blackballed. This, I Jeremy mean, it Lin makes me emotional thinking about Jeremy Lin. <laughs> we <laughs> talked about it. La- we talked about it last week. That's okay, though. I mean, why does it make you emotional? Because you know, I, I mean, as all of you know, I mean, no one knows, but. <laughs> You know, I am a sport management major. Okay, okay. And That's I, why we had you on. We I all know. knew. I, I'm a big sport guy. I yeah. mean, He's a, he, you're a fan of sports. Yeah. You don't care who knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're at the right place and, if you uh, like sports. Yeah, you're I, amongst friends that like sports. I, for an assignment in school, wrote a 15-page paper about Jeremy Lin. Wow. Did you really? And how he and how it's tough because he's an Asian. Pretty much is what it was about. <laughs> like, and I got an A, so I know what I'm talking about, folks. So are you saying, are you going to go on record right now and say that you predicted this for Jeremy Lin? I mean. That in many ways that you 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 saw the future? I saw the chink in his armor. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. All he, right. That's, oh, not, that's not from him. He didn't write that. He's just repeating what he saw. <laughs> He's just quoting. That was, in, uh, that was in your article, I'm, I'm assuming, right? That was literally the basis of my That was article. okay. That, like, was, that was the only reason I chose the topic. Fair, fair. That's uh, it's pretty easy. But Vince Carter doesn't have any of those concerns, luckily. Um, nobody has ever accused him of having chinks in his armor. Chink free? Yes. Since 93. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can, we, wow. can we cut that part out? Uh, I got a lot of editing to do tonight after the show. Uh, Vince Carter. <laughs> he got that in like the first 10 minutes. I think we, rough. we got our episode name at least. All right. Uh, uh, there's no <laughs> chink in Vince Carter's chink armor. Chink-free since 93. What do you mean? Uh, no, we can't do that. That might not play well nowadays. That uh, that could be a problem. Guys, come on. We're trying. The one thing we're trying to not do is be problematic. I well, didn't think that was a hard bar. Uh, we'll try. We'll try again next week. I guess. Um, <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> we gotta get less racist guests. I guess. <laughs> Hit the Ellen folks too. I uh, promise I'm not racist. <laughs> well, he promised. All right. Only a racist would say uh, that. Tell, <laughs> tell me about your Asian American friends. I went to a private school. <sighs> Jeez, it keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. <laughs> All right, that's it. You cut his cut his mic. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, so yes, back to Atlanta. Um, yeah, Trey Young and John Collins are very much where the growth and the potential is based. I think those are the two guys that are on that team. Well, wait. Who's the starting point guard, though? Trey Young. Well, I saw Evan Turner could possibly be the point guard of that team as well, so um, I just wanted to... I don't think he will be the starting I, point guard. Mm, I don't mm, think mm. Evan Turner is uh, in any... He's one of their top five best players. Any position... I would, in I would, in I would what, disagree. the league? No, in, on their team. On the, you think he's one of the five best players on the Hawks? Yeah, as much as I hate Evan Turner, he might be. The other guy... There's a lot of guys that are just like... I hope you're good. Ben Turner has been getting a little bit better, so I don't hate him as much as I used to. But uh, He plays within himself a lot more now. Yes. I would say, I mean, obviously Young and Collins are both better. Um, DeAndre Bembry is probably is better. I think so. Uh, Kevin Huerter, probably a little bit better. Uh, and then if one, of the, if one of their rookies, if DeAndre Hunter or Cam Reddish is better, then, uh, then, then he would not be in the top five. But, Remember uh, when Evan what about, Turner? What about Jabari Parker, though? If we're gonna, if oh we're, my if God. we're gonna get, hold on, no, if we're gonna get in the weeds here and I talk think, about middle of the road Atlanta Hawks, we can't. You can't talk about mediocre Hawks without talking about Jabari Parker. Is Jabari Parker right? even on the road? Jabarker? You said. Is that his name? Jabarker? Jabarker. What did I that's Jabarker? Jabarker, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jabarker. You know, I like that. That's the Yeah, that's his new nickname. <laughs> Jabarker. I don't know if you give guys who aren't in the league nicknames, but yeah, he's, so in the he's, he's, barely... he's on the Hawks. What do you mean? He'll figure it out this year. This is the year. Yeah, Shh. come on, you guys. Jabarker's like on the edge of not being in the league. This this there's a chance that this is Jabari Parker's like last NBA contract. It's it's, it's Jabarker. It's Jabarker. Jabarker. But he, I mean if it if it doesn't go well, like He's going to get opportunities. Um, he's going to get chances. Um, in China. He's gonna, this year, uh, there's no reason. Atlanta's not going to be good, I don't think. Um, I, don't, I don't see any. Like, if you are a young guy, Atlanta will find time for you in the rotation. I'm not too worried about but that. But we've given uh, Jabari, Jabarker, what, like, four, what's his year? Fourth year? This will be third, year? third. Third? Fourth. Well, fourth. It'll be his fourth, third, right? Fifth. Will it? He's on a second contract. Third contract, technically. Yeah. So okay. it might be a sixth yeah. year. Is Chandler Parsons on Atlanta too? Chandler Parsons is on Atlanta. Yeah, this team is wild. This team is super wild. Um, that's a, that's a piece I like though. He's they, expired at he, the end of the year. Expired, big maybe expiring. he figures it out or gives a fuck to try this year. Atlanta actually is not in a terrible position. Uh, they are set to have. Well, it's unfortunate because this next free agent class is basically nothing. 
but Atlanta's looking to have about 40 or so million in cap space after this year. Um, I don't know who they're going to spend it on, but that is... DeMarcus like, Cousins. <laughs> DeMarcus Cousins is finally going to get paid. Because, uh, yeah, the, the, the market that market dried up even further with Draymond signing his extension over the weekend. Four years, four years, hundred million with a player option in the fourth year. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think Atlanta. I think that's it's still a year away, probably from more, mattering a little at more all. Than that. Um, they're a year away from being a year away. Yes. Perha- yeah, they're five years away. But from- I was, the re- when I say a year away, I'm talking just like playoffs. I think well, next playoffs. year. I think playoffs. I think, <laughs> I, that's what I have on your playoffs. Um, I think next year they could make the playoffs. I think this year, if things really broke the right way. It's possible for them to be the eighth seed. I, I went over it with Gonzo earlier. I think there's seven teams that you can say are for sure making the playoffs, and the eighth seed comes from kind of a clump of it comes from this division. this division basically. I'm yeah. rooting. Yeah. They're going to leapfrog. I'm it's rooting. Magic, yeah. yeah, someone has to make the playoffs from this division because it's not going to be the, to? technically no. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. But, but if they, I'm rooting for the fact that no team from this division makes the playoffs. But but for that to happen, that would mean that the Knicks. The Cavaliers or the Bulls had to make the playoffs. Would, you, ha- would you hang that banner if you're a division champion but didn't make the playoffs? <laughs> you have to, right? <laughs> Indianapolis Colts, uh, yeah. <laughs> division winner, did not make the playoffs. Yeah, you want a division, which technically is a thing they keep track of. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, you'd have to put that banner up there with everything else. Yeah, yeah, when the Magic hang their banner this year, nowhere on it does it say forty-two and forty Southeast <laughs> Division winner. Okay, it just says Southeast Division winner. Same as your sixty-win teams. Okay, and like ten years from now, nobody's going to remember that they didn't no, make the playoffs. Look at and be like, oh, the Magic were randomly good in twenty nineteen. <laughs> what they didn't win? In, like, there's nothing on either side of that for a while. But uh, there they go in twenty nineteen. I guess they were good. Or you just see the Hawks uh, won the division in 2020. <laughs> they were 0-0 in the playoffs. What, <laughs> what, does that even, what does that even mean? <laughs> Never heard of such a thing. What is this tomfoolery? Division winner. This is uh, this is the thing that I want the most that I didn't know that I wanted the most until today. Yeah, I told well, you, man. That's <laughs> fucking great. I hope has that ever happened, do you think? What's that? In uh, history? No, for sure not. You sure? I'm positive. Oh, because no. up until like five years ago, division winners they got made in the automatic. playoffs. They got it automatically. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's a good say, point. For the longest time... For the longest time, they got a top three seed, no matter what. True. Like there'd be times where like a team with like a fifteen because that was the uh, the one year the the Mavericks were like fifty eight and twenty four, and they had to go on the road in the first round to play like a forty four win Denver team in the first round. And they got beat. Like the NBA, like because people complain now, like oh conferences shouldn't matter. Like the NBA, like divisions mattered until like twenty fourteen. Like it hasn't been that long since like division winners were just gifted a top three seed. Like. It's crazy to look back on that, but that's most of its history. Now, what do divisions matter for anymore? Your location and you play one you, or two more games yeah, against you these people? more frequently. Rivalries. Yeah. Rivalries. Like the I-94 rivalry. Yep, rivalries. And, <laughs> I get up for it. And I think the NBA can, the NBA still gets away with it because it'll, they can like use like an environmentalist mask now for it. They can be like, well, this limits the travel of the most teams possible. Just some, like the Grizzlies in the West. Shh. <laughs> But that's They're doing. I mean, it's tough, man. I'd know? say there's more teams that are in the East, though. Like, there's going to be it'd be the Buc- We've done this before. If you move the Grizzlies to the East, the Bucks or the Bulls would have to go west. North versus South, baby. Like, uh, yeah, that's I don't, like, pretty you know, difficult. <laughs> Seattle's in the same division as New York, then. Yeah, <laughs> Seattle doesn't have a team. Well, when they Ooh, <laughs> Portland, 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 yeah, Portland. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I think there's, uh, I think there's a, a lot of mm, – the North versus South thing, we've done that. Uh, it's very 1865. I want to see what it team calls themselves. Well, <laughs> oh, I, I got it. Those Civil War things. I, I want to see you, what thank team – I you. understood that reference. Yes. I want to see what team calls themselves the South. Much to oh, like, the, like we the South? Like we the North? Like, yeah, we the South? Like, they're yeah. going to win it all if they somebody calls themselves the South. They'd be from Virginia. I'm going to go Charlotte. I'm gonna say Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlottesville. <laughs> yep. Uh, they also North Whoa. Carolina. North Carolina was the bathroom bill state. Um, so I think we the South. Too bad was, Alabama doesn't have a team. Oh, they for well, yeah. sure would be we the Ar- South. Arkansas. Roll damn died. Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of states where they'd be. Yeah. The South. Louisiana outside of New Orleans. Uh, Georgia outside of Atlanta. I yeah. believe as well. Yeah. Florida. But uh, the South. The South shall rise again. Okay, guys. No, not Florida. <laughs> yeah. North North of Florida. <laughs> no. Flo- yep. 
Dude, Florida's, Florida's not, crazy when you're not in like if you're not in like a tourist city. Yeah. Florida. Oh Miami. yeah, but they're not like the South. Yeah, they are. Yeah. If all crazy dude, crimes come from Florida. When you ever hear about well, yeah, a guy it's true, but I'm sixteen not... pet gators, it's always Florida <laughs> or like Florida man. Are we gonna have to explain <laughs> yeah, the concept of Florida man? To I understand that, but do you know about uh, the gator? The gators that were on meth in Florida because people were flushing them down the toilet. Yeah, down flushing the toilet. The meth down the toilet. Yeah, that sounds like Florida. I think it was a fake story, it's but super, sounds like people from time. Florida believed it's it. It's super Florida. Yeah. I could definitely believe it because it's Florida it's, and it's, anything can happen. Exactly. <laughs> Point exactly. That's what we're the, saying. It's the South. We've alienated Yeah, but now you say in the South anything can happen, you know? That's, well, I, would, I mean, is that wrong? No. No, it's not. Exactly. Thank uh, you. Bad things happen in the South. I don't just, go like, th- just like in the Southeast Division, anything can happen, right, guys? There you go, folks. Boom. Just there like, we go. Smooth transition. Just like Washington, D.C. is in the South. <laughs> ah. Somebody stop me. All right. So the Hawks will, oh, be, will be fun but not good. Uh, probably not going to make the playoffs. Um, before we get out of here, is Trey Young the best player from that draft class? No, Luka Doncic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Luka Doncic. I was wrong. Yeah, Luka. Luka's well, the best player from that class still? The dunk. Probably, yeah. Okay. Luka, just because he has more size and more versatility. Like I'm with you, Gonzo. Trey Young has a ceiling. Okay. Okay. I mean, what is this? What is the ceiling? I mean, I mean, you said Steph Curry's gonna be MVP. That could be a ceiling in theory. He, he hypothetically, Agreed. but I yeah, mean, yeah, his ceiling would be the, the ceiling top. is like yeah, top five player in the league. <laughs> this guy's the but a pretty good I think, ceiling. I think Luka Doncic's <laughs> ceiling is more like, I mean, Luka I don't know. See, I didn't Luka doesn't compare well. I feel like I, it, I want to say LeBron almost, but he's not like. Physically as dominant, but he's like Luca his vision Chandler, and like Chandler Parsons in three years. That's I hope he's not overpaid and just sitting on a, a team. Hot take. That is a scalding s- take. Good wow. hot, good Chandler Parsons or now Chandler Parsons. Well, he was good for a while, and then three years he, he's bad. Oh, all right. I uh, see. For me, that like I just think they have different limitations, but both of them are more pertaining to defense than offense. I would just say I'm not comparing like height or body weight. I just think Luka Doncic overall is a better player than Trey Young. Not saying Trey Young's a bad player at all. No, I'm yeah. just saying I think Doncic is a little bit better than him. But I think my, giving you bigger size is obviously an advantage yeah. in the NBA. Yeah, I would agree. For, uh, however, I think that long term Luka has to play the two. I don't think Luka can check NBA point guards. I think we saw plenty. Of, like, is he not a? Th- he's a two or a three, right? Yeah, but he should not be playing the point at all. I don't I mean, understand. That needs to not be a thing. Even if he does, who? Ca- I don't understand. Uh, this is a deeper conversation, but who cares what po- position he plays? He doesn't have to guard point guards, and that's the only issue. It's a positionless basketball. Yeah, who cares? Except you still have to be able to guard people, which Luka had tr- trouble with yeah. last year. Like Trey had the same problem. Fair point. But yeah. if we're gonna, but if we're gonna like discuss like limitations and ceilings and this and that. I can't ignore that Luka Doncic's lateral quickness is like for guards like bottom ten and ten percent in the league. Yeah, you got to put Luka's him against Luka's lateral two quickness is horrible. Mm-hmm. Like he can't guard anyone. He can't stay in front of people. So like that's his big limitation. Trey's his size, which you can't do anything about. So like to an extent, like it's it's a, it's a worse limitation, I guess. But we've seen small guards like get like Kyle Lowry's like a small guard, but like you can't post him up. Granted, he has like a you know. Huge ass. Yeah, he's got a huge, he's ass. Got a huge yeah. ass. I don't know why you're tiptoeing yeah. around. Yeah, he's got an enormous glorious. ass. Large like, glutes. There's like, like Chris Paul is a tough guard to post up. Like there's smaller guys that have turned themselves into like stronger defenders by getting bigger, putting on weight, growing. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Trey's able to do that versus is Luca able to develop like lateral quickness as a defender. I think, but offensively, they're both super fun. And they're both uh, basically what you would want to build a team around. So you're saying Trey Young should get a bigger ass? I'm saying Trey Young should, yeah, start doing those squats, man. Yeah. Get in the gym, work that booty. I agree. No. Okay, that's work all that ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, like that, that was the only other thing I wanted to go over because I don't want, I didn't want to gloss over Trey Young because I think he had a spectacular. I think he was your second half rookie of the year for sure this past season. Uh, I think he proved yeah a lot of people wrong, myself included. Um, myself included. I really doubted Luka Doncic. Oh. Sorry, we were talking about well Trey Young too. Trey Young, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, gonna I say did. you didn't like Trey Young. I didn't like Trey Young I either. I still doubt Trey Young. You still doubt Trey Young? What yeah. do you doubt? Have you yeah. seen him in the Drew League? I mean, they they lost to Rhode Island. I put a decent amount of money on him. So wait, wait you're gambling on Drew League games? No, like in oh in the tournament. In the NCAA tournament oh. Two years ago. oh, okay. I was like, first okay. off, I'm pretty sure Rhode Island doesn't have a Drew League team, <laughs> but I could be wrong. I was very confused as well. 
Mm-hmm. Well, that was your fault for betting on that trash ass Oklahoma team that like was a zombie the whole second half of the I season. Had no choice. All right. No, you had choices. It was to not do that. Nope. All right. No this choice. This is not the show. Is not about your poor gambling it was discipline. Also, it was okay. First, that's first a, game of the day. That's right. it. You didn't have to bet it. That's a show you enjoy. Or you could start. have. You could have bet Rhode Island. All right. So that's yeah. That's it for Atlanta. Uh, moving on. Let's let's go to a team with. A lot Wait, of, I got one more question. Sure. What position is John Collins? Uh, four slash five. Four yeah. slash five. Four. Yeah. Four, four or five. five. Yeah. All right. I'm just curious how you build th- around th- that think, going forward. I think now he's a four as he gets bigger and like is like a just tougher, stronger guy. He probably is more of a five. So would you go after a shooting big or would you go after like a defensive big? No, he should, play, he should be he should be a five. Well, John Collins is both of those things. John I Collins know, but I'm, that's five. why I'm asking. What would you what would you like to pair with him? Um, Trey Young, Dwayne Dedman. No, I mean as a, like as your they have as your front court. Year. Oh, I would I would put a a smaller shooter. In there with him, so play Collins as the five. Play Collins as the five. I think that's where he ultimately, like I yeah. said, yeah. Well, I think that's where he settles. Just like, a smaller five. Yep. Yeah, and if you're going against a big guy who can't handle, like a little bit bigger guy, then you have that bench guy on your team. Yeah, exactly. Then you put him in. Yep. Then that's where you, you bring like your, ABC. You're, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, you're Alex Len, you're yeah. Jonas Valanciunas. You're just your big bodied centers. Like they exist, and I mean, they're like they Steven still have Adams. them. They're just yeah. not. They're usually not starters, and they're usually not that impactful anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, yeah. enough with Atlanta. Moving on to the Washington Wizards. Oh man, that's that's a fun team. How much money is John Wall making? Uh, this next season, all, John Wall. All of the John money. Wall is scheduled to make thirty-eight million dollars uh, in this next season, where he's not scheduled to play. <clears throat> However, that's okay. Don't worry. He only has three years and one hundred and twenty million dollars left on his deal after this next coming season. That sounds good. <laughs> Yikes! Um, this this sucks, man. This is like. It's not really their fault. To, uh, any of the John Wall stuff, you can't blame Washington for. At the time that they extended John Wall, it was one of the biggest no-brainer extent. It was like it was like Portland extending Damian Lillard. It was like, yeah, of course, obviously, like he is synonymous with that franchise. Um, in the season since then, a lot has changed, and John Wall is now routinely considered one of the top five worst contracts in the league at this point. Mm-hmm. And you said right behind Chris Paul. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's right. It's, it's, he's in that neighborhood now. Um, I don't think that John Wall is tradable at this point. Like maybe this next, maybe next offseason. Dude, don't the Bulls want him? They need a point guard. Why? Well, who Bulls wants to pay take a guy who's not gonna, <laughs> Who wants to pay a guy who's not going to play though forty yeah, million dollars? They got a rookie point guard. Well, they want to bring in an injured guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Bulls might. That's they the Bulls, got, that's yeah, Bulls, yeah, the Bulls thing to do. Well, yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> do you not follow the Bulls very right, closely? <laughs> so let's not. Like, okay, but a, a team just inexplicably not. Doing something like the one they trade anyways to get their money wise, be like Otto Porter and something. That's the only way they get there. <sighs> Otto Porter goes home. Yeah, we already talked yeah. about the Bulls, didn't we? Yeah. Can we keep talking talk, about the Bulls? I exactly. I don't want to talk about the Bulls. Ignore like, the Bulls. Let's talk about the Bulls. Outside of the Knicks and the Bulls, no team's incompetent enough to trade for John Wall right now. Essentially, however, we covered those teams. Are the Suns might be. Are the Wizards? Oh, they might be. Oh, are, we'll get them off the They Suns, did, so. signed Ricky though. They did. Uh, are the Wizards? In a position where they should trade Bradley Beal. No. I don't think so because I think the core of John Wall, Bradley Beal, hypothetically, is better. You're stuck with John Wall. We've all just agreed to it, right? So why would you want Bradley Beal to come back to a situation where they you, you're not even competing? Like, if you're going to spend that money, at least try and compete. I would, as an owner or whoever runs a team, I would be pissed off if it's like, we spent $30 million on this guy, but he's not playing... And now he's playing, and we traded the other guy that's good away. Like you spend that money, you got to be trying to go for a title. Giant. Is my opinion. I'd say uh, you got you got to hold on to Bradley Beal unless you can get something a little bit younger. Because, like Zach said, if you know in two years when John Wall gets back, you still want to be contending. He'll be back in a year. In a year, you still want to be contending. You don't want to just blow it up, and then when John Wall gets back, the guy you spent all your money for, it's you just. You just lose because you're bad, and you don't have anybody else with him. Yeah, you at least got to try to put something around him. You know, just just get rid of him. Blow it up! Wow, blow, blow it up! up. I agree. Blow it I agree. Up. Blow, blow it up! Up. What are you I doing? Mean, Even you, when they are both healthy, exactly. what are the Wizards? They're exactly. nothing. Exactly. They're not a contender. And, and you have Let's no, not pretend that they're like the Blazers of the East. The Wizards aren't that good. You have no idea what John Wall is going to be. You so you can't just sit and pay Bradley Beal all this money. At least get something in return. So you're, if you're Potentially going to get nothing in return for John Wall after his, his contracts. So you it's just going to be you, nothing. You like, just fired the GM that gave those contracts out yeah, anyways. Start fresh. Like start what, as fresh as you possibly can. But you can. can't. You can't start fresh because yeah. you're not going to be can. able to lose John Wall. Whatever though. A whole year though, you can tank 
can try to get a top whatever pick. Yeah. So, like, you do that. Trade Bradley Beal and get some first What if John picks? Wall comes back and he sucks? Now you're screwed again. Very possible. Then you could trade everything at that point in time. But why not get out in front of it and do it, like, while it's not like, while the world doesn't know you have to sell. You could probably get a better return with Bradley Beal having an extra year on his deal right now. Like... If you can get somebody for Bradley Beal who's younger or has as much potential as Bradley Beal, I would do it. Yeah, I'm not just trading but Bradley Beal to clear cap space. Nobody's yeah. saying that. What, what would Why you would you ever trade Bradley Beal to clear cap Then what is, what is your... I, would, I don't even know... It You're saying for like draft picks? picks? Yeah. yeah, multiple firsts. How many, yep, how exactly. many firsts like, would like, it take? I don't know, three? Yeah. Well, what it depends are, are, from which team. Yeah. Yeah, but even not kind of not to me. I wouldn't take the Lakers three first. I would make sure that they're in 2022, 2024, and 2026. Yeah, I guess. I would take then, them further down. I'd kick it down the road. Like, I would take those first, but not for, like, the near future. Like, I, I think that... I think so then, the you're way, give, then you're giving up. And then but you it's, get, a t- it's a really, have those it's a really tough Wall sell to your fans, out. though. Nobody goes to Wizards games. They're one of the least attended teams in the league. Well, well, I mean, you still got to try to sell yeah, tickets. Yeah, you got to... Can't be like, you know, we're the worst. Who's going to them next year? Who's going to see Bradley, the next best player on the, that team? Who well, People who listen to this podcast? It's Thomas Bryant. Right now, the Wizards' second best player is Thomas Bryant. Hey, man, you go there for the other teams. Then at that point, you still gotta. Then you'll sell those tickets no matter what. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying. You're like, you got... my point. No, I'm not. Uh, of course, Bradley next year. For yeah. years. We, exactly. We're talking to Bucks fans. Yeah, but how, how, how are you going to sell? Out, sell out Lakers you'll sell games. I'm saying, of course, of course, and they'll sell out the Celtics games. Yeah. Other teams will fill your arena twenty times a year, and they'll do enough. I'm saying, of course, next year nobody's going to the games because you only got Bradley Beal. Yeah. But I mean, you got to wait. When John Wall comes back. When John back, Wall's back, you got Wall They're going to want to see that People pairing. are going to come to see him if they like him that much, and then you'll have the same exact thing. People filling other people I filling really, up your stadiums. I really don't think that they are that they were that far off from being Portland East. Wasn't that always what they were? That was what they were going for, sure. Yeah. I think... Uh, Portland's I made moves, but like things can always change when you have a little mm-hmm. bit more flexibility. Portland's when, done a way better job building around those two, also. Like... There's no like I said. There's nobody else on Washington that matters at all. Didn't they get Dwight Howard for a little bit? <laughs> that, yeah, we last year, <laughs> talk about the they Dwight. signed Dwight last year. You're not allowed to count that as like trying anymore. That's like five years too late. That's yeah. Come on, man. This team is terrible. This is an awful. I'm exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's no way that John Wall comes back and this team matters. There's not a chance. Rui Hashimura might be their fourth best player. But if they're not this good this year, sucks. maybe they get another good draft pick, and then John Wall, Bradley Beal, and a good guy. That's a big three right yeah, there. That's a good point. You are going to get a good draft pick. You're, you're not either, gonna be either that if good Beal's in. Beal. Yeah, either if Beal's in or not, you're still going to get a good draft pick, I assume. I, th- I think Bradley Beal's too good to make you have like a really good... I think Bradley Beal being oh, on that team... He'll average like 40 if he needs Bradley, to. Yeah, Bradley Beal being on that team is going to make them win. Like, in the right, East, they're going to win like hey, 30, If 30, Bradley Beal's playing that well, then, he'll probably be worth more at the end of the season. Yep. Or at the deadline. Or at the deadline, for yeah, sure. That's so, what I'm saying. I'm not saying trade him right now. Yeah, you don't have there's, to no trade there's no way you're well, trading you guys, now. That was literally the question. No, is, would you trade, do you trade Do you trade Bradley Beal? Eventually. I guess this season. Eventually. This season? Yeah. This season if it gets better. If you're if they are like twelve and thirty two coming into the deadline, you trade Brad. You, you, you keep trade Bradley, Bradley no, Beal. Keep Bradley Beal because then you're going to get another star. <laughs> you're like we suck. You can't make it. We saw. We've seen how dumb that is in the lottery now. With what a fifteen percent chance. But isn't that a better? Be like isn't that better than being the twelve point five? Yeah, I think it is. Being a team that just goes out and pays people or fails to pay people. Like wouldn't you at least like we got two pieces. We're just waiting on our third. Like I'd rather be in the two people waiting on my third than have a bunch of picks and be hoping for three. I if I can get if I can give myself the best chance at clearing salary and only having to work around Wall's money for the next three years while I build a young team underneath that, that's the option that I'm the most okay with. And hopefully Wall yeah. Wall plays himself into having trade value and then he can go to. That's where I'm at with that team. Wow. Trading John Wall. Wow. I if you, if, wow. you, if John if you can if John Wall like they're not going to win anything in the next three years. If you could trade John Wall, I trade Bradley Beal at the same time. Like that's that's a no brainer. But like, well, different deals. There's no way. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, yeah, like, how many, how many teams have eighty million, <laughs> million <laughs> tradable assets? No, but I'm saying if I I trade John Wall on Monday, by Wednesday I'm trading Bradley right, Beal. That'd be, that'd be part of like, yeah. it's, it's over, it's over. But like, there's just nothing else on this team that's worth it. Like, read some of the names on this on this Hold on. Then why didn't they do it last year? Because they was, it was too, they were too far into it. Like they were, they were trying to get the eighth seed until like the last two weeks of the year. They won like thirty two games, which in the East you were there. I mean, they got Davis Bertans, wow, Star. Isaac Bonga, 
Oof. Troy Brown Jr. Okay. Rui. Yeah. Yep. Um, Jericho Jones. Who? Ian, Ian Mahimni. Oh, God. Oh. Ian. Uh, Jordan McRae, CJ Miles. Oh my God, CJ Miles. CJ yeah. Miles. Chasen Randall. Oh God, it's a made-up person. They, they brought. They got Ish Smith though. Ish they Smith. Well, I mean, he's fast. He's really fast. Buckets. But they lost Thomas Sadaransky. They got. Uh, they got Isaiah Thomas. Mm. Oh God. Oh wow. yeah, I forgot. And then, uh, mm-hmm. then Mortiz Wagner. Wagner. Mo, Mo Wagner. Mo Wagner. That's their team though. That's their team. I mean, yeah. Oh my God! Garrison Matthews, does that do anything for you? <laughs> I don't know who. Th- I thought that was a football Tariq, player. Tariq Phillips, does that help you out? No, because I I legitimately they got Admiral Schofield. I mean, is that cool? It's a cool name. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely a cool, cool name. Club. <laughs> I mentioned that earlier when going over rosters. Admiral Admiral Schofield. Admiral Schofield is pretty that's cool. cool. <laughs> I'll be honest. This is the first team where I I didn't know about half the guys you said. I mean, Chase and Randall. It has like a team picture, so that means he's been. He was on the, the team last year. Yeah. I know he's one of the ones I knew. But is he on the team for next year? Yes. Nobody is trading you anything for Chase and Randall. <laughs> ball rack. I'd take a ball rack. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's where the Wizards are at. And I don't, like, they can try. They can lie to themselves and try to play off the string. Um, but I just think, I think trying to go forward with this court is foolish. And it's whistling. It's it's it's, it's a canary in the coal mine. Whoa. Yeah. That, that's, that, oh, you wait. made that saying. That's, that's, a, that's a bridge too far, my friend. At what? What? What is, canary what in is a coal mine? Too far. What is? It? What are we talking? Come on! What are you talking about? Yeah. What is a canary in a coal mine? The, they used to put canaries in coal mines, and when the bird died, they knew it wasn't safe to work in there anymore. They should get out because they've been breathing. Oh, we have a different that's definition that's in our wild. family of canary. Mm. Oh well, you guys are using it as a racial slur because you're homophobic. No, it's, it's, Thank you. All right, anyways. homophobic slur. <laughs> yeah, homophobic. Uh, it's yeah. not homophobic. Yeah. It's just a flamboyant person, <laughs> gay or not. It's a canary. Uh, I'll show you the definition for homophobia during the break. Anyways, let's okay. move on to Miami. Flamboyant. Stop, Gay please. or straight. Please. Straight guys can be very flamboyant. Johnny, please. <laughs> have you I seen, mean, metrosexual. Have, have you seen yeah. Johnny's feathers? <laughs> Feather boa that he wears out hey. of the um, But guys, hold on. Before we move on, actually, uh, Washington, worse than Atlanta this next year for sure, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, They're okay. like bottom two. So we have Atlanta, Atlanta above Washington as of now. That's our current Southeast yeah. rankings. Fair? Yeah. I kind of yeah. hope they're about a little bit under 500. I think they're going to be a lot of bit under five hundred. I, I hope they're Are we talking about the Wizards. Yeah, I hope. So how, do you, how do you think they'll be that good? No, I, they're I, not winning twenty games. I, I said no, I'm, I'm twenty five. I said I'm hoping because they spend a lot of time in NBA hell. I just kind of want to this. Keep going. I mean, I need somebody else to be the Bulls. Speaking of NBA hell, let's move on to the Miami Heat. <laughs> oh man, I thought we were going Magic. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Um, That's Miami, not NBA hell. Miami. Miami had the most notable offseason signing of any team in this division. Tyler Hero. <laughs> That's a, that's a that's, draft pick. Oh, shoot. Um, you got to sign him. You can't just draft him and not sign him. Right, it has yeah. happened. All right, yeah. Um, but you may know him. Some call him James. Uh, no, it's not his name. I call him James. Brett Brown called him James. That's two, some. All right. Uh, Jimmy Butler signed but he with told me that's James. not his name. Signed with the Miami Heat. Uh, he did not really go the pairing up route. Uh, in a league where most people Shh, usually go places wait. with people. Do you wait, I don't think D Wade matters. Uh, if he did come back, at this he didn't point. get everybody's jersey. He no. needs to make another round. <laughs> well, plus he said he said his jersey collection already looks so bootleg because of how many people have changed teams. He posted a picture with like all the people that he like swapped jerseys with and aren't on that team anymore. He was oh, yeah. like, "Man, my my uh, my jersey collection's looking pretty bootleg right now." <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. Was there any obscure NBA players or no? Because no. like the only obscure one he traded with was Kevin Herter. Because Kevin, Gordon's I thought there was one more ex- obscure one. Oh, might have been. Wasn't there one where somebody wanted to trade with him and he said no? I don't. Remember. Oh, I remember no, that sorry, one sorry. where he was like, "No, I, I'm already trading with somebody after oh, this one." <laughs> yeah, because Kevin Werder's favorite player growing up was Dwayne Wade, and Dwayne Wade knew that, so he traded jerseys with. him. I mean, so. I could tell they play so, so similar. Very similar. That's why. Yeah. And that's why Kevin Werder wears number three. Fun fact number two about Kevin Werder and Dwayne Wade. Wow. Yeah. We are past the Hawks. All right. What's up? I'm sorry, but it's, it ties in Miami connection. D Wade. He brought up D Wade. Jersey swap. I mean, we've talked about Atlanta. It, it all. T- I'm sorry that I tried to provide synergy here. Okay, excuse me. Synergy. How dare you? Yeah. Uh, anyways, Jimmy Butler signed a four-year, hundred and forty million dollar deal to go to Miami, uh, and I hope he enjoys the weather because I'm not really sure. What this is exactly what Jimmy wanted. Jimmy could be the best player on his team. Yeah, but that mm-hmm. like, he was in Chicago though. Yeah, but he didn't like Tibbs. <laughs> All right. He so, would have stayed if it wasn't for Tibbs. So, is it safe to say that Jimmy Butler cares more about being the alpha than he does about actually winning? Yeah. His yeah. team's not very good. His teams have never... Well, I guess Philly last year was good, but, like, Minnesota sucked. 
And they should have been way better. I mean, they, and, and they had Carl Anthony Towns. They don't got anyone near Carl Anthony Towns to agree on this team. You don't like Bam Adebayo, U.S. basketball uh, representative, Bam Adebayo? I mean, so oh, is Pat man. Connaughton. Are I mean, we going to talk about Pat that? Pat is on the U.S. Yeah, he's, part, he's in the camp, dude. So is Joe Harris. Pat like, I mean, so M- bad. MVP. I, mean, I think when people saw these people walk in the gym, they're like, this is why I'm quitting. They're like, okay. Brooke um. Lopez is like probably making the team. Like, he's probably, oh, so he's yeah. going to be trash. He's pro- oh, the Bucks are going to suck. Yeah, to wait, Giannis is playing. I, don't, I hate it. I actually hate how many bucks are playing in the uh, the World Cup. All of them, actually. Yeah, that's, Eric Bledsoe is going to start. An ass is I can't playing. believe I, I can't believe they haven't asked Eric Bledsoe yet. Actually, it's almost insulting. They at probably this point. don't want his attitude. <laughs> it's, it's kind of outrageous. He's going to get to a country he doesn't like and tweet out, "I don't want to be here." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's in China. So, well, I could see it. I can definitely yeah. see it. This food sucks. I'll, hey, man, I'll just get a haircut, but these Chinese dudes don't know how to cut my hair. So I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. That's what I was, that's what I was talking about. Um, so, yeah, Jimmy got his wish. He got paid. Uh, I mean, this team's not horrible. I don't know. Like, Bam out of bio, I, I said in just, but I do think he's a good young player. Gordon uh, Drott. Yeah, but he's who's playing? Who's their starting center? Don't they have somebody ahead of him? No, they no. traded Hassan Whiteside to Portland. Don't they got uh, Kelly Olynyk? He's not starting ahead of Bam Adebayo. Where do you know how good Bam Adebayo is? He, I thought they had somebody else that was ahead of him that they acquired. Or am I just thinking of Myers Hassan? Leonard? Could be. No, <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm just thinking of uh, I Hassan listen, Whiteside. I named their three centers. They got Udonis Haslam. <laughs> yeah, they Udonis. still got Udonis. Udonis. He didn't retire, retire with D Wade. Why? Why should he? Udonis Haslam plays like twelve minutes a year and makes the vet men still. <laughs> he just keeps collecting that check. And it's like he's a legend. You think yeah. they're going to retire Udonis Haslam's jersey? Have, there? Actually, a hundred percent. No one else is going to want to wear forty anyway. Dude, he, he's also like <laughs> crazy loved by Heat fans. Yeah, he never like, left. Yep, yeah, he's wild loved by Heat fans. He played. He's played his whole career there. Yeah, that's UD. Yeah. He's like a day one. Like yeah, day for one sure. is age. Um. So, is it safe to say, given, like, the, there will be heightened expectations. Uh, Jimmy Butler has been known to be a coach killer, uh, a bit of a locker room problem. Is this Spo's biggest test since LeBron left? Um, I I don't know. Was it really a test when LeBron left? I mean, expectations are pretty low. Well, I'm saying since LeBron left, yeah. Like, that's... Because yeah. his biggest tests were when LeBron was there. So since LeBron has not been there... Oh, okay, okay, test. okay. okay. This is the yeah, first time having yeah. Yeah, actual this is expectations. This is the first time having, 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 having a legitimate, legitimate all-star. I mean, yeah. that's not named Dwayne Wade. Yep, that, exactly. So, like, um, this is... this is, And the fact that Jimmy is not Dwayne Wade in terms of personality, I, leadership... He did go to Marquette, though. Did you know that? <laughs> yes. no, I, I knew that. Yes. Wow. I think... I, I still think expectations are going to be, like, tempered. Like, I think the expectations will be... Playoffs. Make the playoffs. And that's it. I don't think they'll be any higher than make the playoffs. Even if they don't, I don't see Spool being in any trouble. But I do think this is one of his bigger challenges. But I just don't think. I think he's just solidified himself there, and like I they're he's just good in Miami. Yeah, I mean, they don't really unless you're like super good. They don't care about sports. You're good. He's, <laughs> Pat, he's good. Pat Riley does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think Pat Riley's probably like I don't like I don't know. It's just. I just don't see him going out and hiring another coach. Like, Spull has done so much with that team. Like, I just, I think it's his team, like, until it's over. Does his name get retired? I don't know. Does if, that if, if there's, like, a ring of honor, what I, he, yeah. he, should, he will get honored in Heat lore, however they do just that. Just like yeah. Michael Jordan's just jersey like, yep. is retired with the Miami <laughs> is, that where you're, is that where you were going with that one? Well, no, but, uh, yeah, he's absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan has his jersey retired with the Heat? Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah, Pat Riley retired the number 23. <laughs> Why? Was he hoping he could get him to play for the Heat instead of the Wizards when he no, came back? No, that's why LeBron had to change numbers. Because oh, that's right, because 23 was already... <laughs> yeah, because because Pat Riley thought he was like... The, I guess it's just how many times he killed him in the playoffs, and he was just like, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> Throw it up there in the rafters. I don't want to... I don't, play I, for I, us. I don't ever want to see that number on my court. Like, nope. I get it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Um, either you guys have any feelings? Because I, I tend to agree that Spo is pretty much safe... I think if they miss the playoffs, that he might be on the hot seat going into next year. Um, but I, I, unless they're like horrible, which I don't really like, if Jimmy doesn't get hurt, they're fine. I think they, I think they probably do make the playoffs anyways. They're one of they're one of the seven teams that I think is is probably in. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think it'll be interesting to see how he navigates the Jimmy Butler experience. Yeah, I think Spolstra is one of the best coaches in the league. There's no way you get rid of Spolstra. It'd be foolish. He's um, in the same situation as uh, Carlisle's in, and 
It's, one, no, it's one of those Dallas. guys where unless... Whoa, they that's very different, though. What do you mean? It's one Carlos, of those guys that the owner and everybody knows is a oh, good coach, situ- okay. so they're just keeping him around. Not the, the player, si- not the owner player situation. situation. Yeah, because yeah, okay. Carlisle, yeah. Carlisle's not going... He's not going anywhere, like, unless, no. he, unless he wants to go somewhere. He's, like, he's not going to get removed by Cuban. Yeah, mm-hmm. for so. sure. Um, however, though, as we mentioned, uh, this is sort of a different level of NBA hell. But is this is this an NBA hell situation? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but I think it works. <laughs> I think it works for them because Miami can market a star. They can sell you on like we're going to make the playoffs and we'll build and blah blah blah. I think it works for them. But as far as winning a championship, it doesn't make them any closer. And I don't see any like Jimmy's just good enough to get you into the NBA into the playoffs, and that's it. Like so, you're not going to be good enough or bad enough to get a good player in the draft. You're not going to be good enough to actually contend in the East. So, like, I think that's uh, how. now that the odds have changed, the first person first out of the playoffs has a lot higher odds than used to. So, NBA hell may just be making the playoffs in the eighth seed now because yeah. you still have a fair kind of okay chance if you miss the playoffs, no matter where you are. Uh, so now being the eighth seed is kind of NBA hell, isn't it? We almost never like aside from this this Clippers team, which it wasn't exactly like an organic growth. Um, I don't. I think <laughs> like, like very rarely does an eight seed playoff team organically develop itself into an actual contender. Mm. Um, I, I think the other reason that they're in NBA hell is Jimmy doesn't strike me as a superstar that guys are lining up to play with. Uh, I don't. I don't think many other people are like. Yeah, I don't, like I'd really like to play with Jimmy Butler. It seems like a good time. Like Miami always will be a draw because it's Miami. Living there is awesome. It's beautiful. The climate's great. That being said, for if it's anything pertaining to basketball reasons, and I'm in like the prime of my contending window as a player, I have a really hard time thinking that that's a place I can go win a championship. Well, you got to get two people to do that. You have exactly because <laughs> yeah. you know for sure that's part of why this is such an uphill. That's why, like, I mean, I, I, I agree that they are. It is NBA hell. Like, it's it's really steep. Like the path to them getting to being an actual contender. There's just a lot of like what like if this happens if like you have to check off so many boxes to get there it just it it doesn't seem very likely to me like not in the next four years. No, nope, I agree. I agree. I mean, um, I don't have much to argue. Do you want me to Stephen A. No, Smith? You don't need to. No, absolutely. Uh, before we move on, <laughs> Milwaukee <Argue> bamboozled. <laughs> yeah. Before we go to break, um, is Tyler Hero good? That was something Gonzo had on here. Yes. <laughs> uh. I like I like Tyler Hero because I like how much I hate him. Do you hate him as much as Grayson Allen? Uh, no. no, 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 not yet. I don't have as much reason. I just don't like Tyler Hero's face, and when he talks, I wish he wouldn't. I'm with you on the whole talking thing. Didn't know he sounded like that. So um, I'm at the draft. I'm like, hmm, boy, because he wants. He's, <laughs> well, he's from Whitnall. Yeah. So the fact that he he like thinks that he's like tough. Uh, yeah, he's going. He's ha- having a community event in the mean streets of Hales Corners. So. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. But so. he's like, you know, me and my boys, like we were, you know, we were like talking the other day, and like, you know, dude, like we know it, like. What are you like? Why do you talk like that? You're from the suburbs. Like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> Hell's quarters. Jeez. Yeah. He's the definition of a wannabe. Like, so I hope he sucks, but I kind of hope he's good because then he'll be more relevant and then I can hate him. So and it's a very complicated. And then he'll play thing. for the Bucks at some point in his career. So that's neat. Uh, uh, let's go to break. But, anyways, uh, hold on. Before we go to break, finally, where am I putting Miami? Where do we have them? Uh, are above they both of those teams. At the top so Miami far. is at the top. Yeah. So we're putting them above Atlanta and above Washington. You can see these so, boards online. Maybe so as somewhere. we go into break, our current rankings, Miami is in first, Atlanta second, Washington is the third place team. And uh, we'll be back on the other side of this break to cover the Hornets and the Magic. So stay tuned Ooh, for that. Boy. You're listening to Jabroni Sports. And we're back here at Jabroni Sports where we are talking today about the Southeast Division of the NBA. Wait, we're, we're putting an ad there. Again, yeah. right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. So I listened back to our last podcast. We yeah. promised we were putting an That's ad where there. where the ad goes. Yeah, duh. There, we promised last podcast there was going to be an ad there. So I listened... We didn't have an ad. Yeah, that's uh, that's where what the the, the sport cups guy. Yeah. What, who is it? Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, we'll get we'll, we'll, we're getting we're giving him a no no free publicity. Oh well, I didn't say what it was. It's just cups was about sports. I like sports. There's lots of sports and there's lots of cups. Um, yeah, yes, that's actually cups. that was the ad right lots there. Lots of cups. Sport cups. There's sports and cups. Anyways, can you dig it? <laughs> can you dig it? Uh, before on the on the previous Sounds side like of the fun. break, we I'd discussed the uh, the Hawks, the Wizards, and the Heat. Um. Uh, now the fun stuff. We're, now we're, the fun begins. <sighs> All right, guys. 
Are we talking Hornets? We are talking about the Charlotte Hornets. All right. Let's do it. Oh, let's, let's roll. Okay, guys. So the, fir- the first question that I have here, and I, I feel like it's a pretty fair question. How does this team beat other NBA teams? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Terry has to go scary. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, Terry's going to have a career year. In, in like, the, counting stats, yeah, yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. Um, and then they have to build a mile of bridges. Uh, is that a My- Miles Bridges reference? <laughs> and um, then uh, Malik has to go monk. Uh, wow. And All then right. Dwayne has to start bacon. <laughs> oh, he's going to be cooking like bacon. Yes, that was nice. Uh, and like then that. Did they get any free agent money from Myers or uh, from uh, Cole? Who's their big guy? Cody Zeller. <laughs> Cody Zeller. <laughs> Oh, when he was raising money to yeah, try to they, keep Kemba? Yeah, with, with that lemonade stand, did they do anything well, with that money, or was it wait, reported? Wait, wait, I didn't hear the story. What it, <laughs> they, they, gave in, it to, they used it uh, to get ready for Nick Batum opting in for his player option next oh, year. That's fair. But you yeah. didn't hear the story? No. Oh, well, uh, Cody Zeller decided to open up a lemonade stand in front of his house in order to raise money to keep Kemba Walker in Charlotte. Is this a real story? Yes, no, there's a it's, picture it's, of him. On, it's, no, it's a poor Photoshop. It's obviously fake. It was real it's to me, dude. clearly David. not real. No. Was, Hold on. Fake I'm pretty news. sure he tweeted it out. He did, but it was clearly Photoshopped. It was looked obviously real, a joke. It looked real to me. I mean, Photoshop's pretty good nowadays. If you look it's it up, true. you'll it's know. True. You, yeah. I've been fooled until now. Jordy, Cody Zeller is not actually running a lemonade stand. I was okay. today years old when I found that out. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts. Oh, my God. Um... I, yeah, guys, I don't know. This is going to be the worst team in the league, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll take that bet. I, I mean, we've discussed them a little before. I don't. This team is horrible. Horrendous. Like, the, the, Wizards, the Wizards are rough. The Hornets are, are whatever. What's below rough? The, Suns is, sad. This is NBA hell. Like, let's, not count out, <laughs> let's not count out the Suns for worst team in the league. Doesn't matter who's on their team. I always put them. Maybe they're going <laughs> to yeah. be the worst team in the league. Devin this year. Booker said this is the last year they don't make the playoffs. That's it. He's done missing. He's okay. done. Yeah. I mean, even if the Suns had like LeBron and Anthony Davis, they still be like they're Suns. They might be the worst <laughs> they might team. Be we got twenty and sixty-two. <laughs> I don't know how, but they'll probably do it. Um, they can figure it out. Obviously, the biggest story of the Hornets offseason was Kemba Walker's departure to Boston, uh, and then the stories later coming out that the Hornets did not even offer Kemba the max. Um, they didn't think he deserved it. <laughs> All-star, not impressed. Is Michael Jordan the worst owner in the NBA? Uh, James Dolan. Okay. I don't think Mike would kick anyone out if, he, if some, a fan told him that the Hornets suck. He'd challenge them to one-on-one <laughs> and make them gamble $100. <laughs> a hundred? Yeah, a yeah, hundred grand, maybe. Yeah. Jordan doesn't get out of bed for a hundo. Come on, uh, that's fair. This team is this team is terrible. I mean, like, <laughs> what, what changes did they make other than losing Kemba and adding Scary Terry? Terry but like, it, there's like the they drafted, looks, they like, drafted the same. PJ Washington. Yeah, I'm high on him. I yeah, I mean, they're not going to be good, <laughs> but no, I don't think they're going to be the worst team in the league. Why? Really? Yeah. Who's really? going to be worse? I don't know. I just don't think they're going to be the worst team in the league. So. The reason I think they will be, uh, I mean, I don't know where they're going to get their points from, but well, that's how you win games. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a I problem. Think the, I think they'll figure out a way to win plenty yeah, of games. If, if you throw it up at the hoop and sometimes it bounces around, you can get it to go in. When you say how many, how many wins, how many wins do you have for the Hornets? Let me, let me. What's your? What's I'm your at twelve. Twenty-three. Sub, I'm, I'm at like seventeen. So I'm, I'm in between you two guys. What do you think? I'm about seventeen as well. Yeah, I think it's under twenty. I think Washington's winning twenty. I think there's a chance they can do single digits. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that would. I, I've heard some people say that, which would be crazy because then Charlotte would have the two worst teams in NBA history. Because uh, there was the nine and seventy three Bobcats uh, about fifteen years ago, I believe it was. Can I think they, the Sixers hit it, or yeah, the Sixers own. <laughs> but owned that it, was in a shorter season. Uh, the, the Sixers, but in, in an eighty two game season, there's only been one team that won less than ten games. The seven win Sixers was in like a seventy game schedule or something like that. I can't. It's, it's, it's it was fewer games. Um, I, I think this team is going to be absolutely miserable. Um, which which led me to my next question: <clears throat> Will Michael Jordan come out of retirement? Yeah, to yeah, play, yeah for sure. To play, That's a fair to, question. To play one more, will he see no. this Hornets team on the court and be like, you know what, I can make a difference out there? No, I think he'll see him and be like, they're lousy. I wouldn't even play for this team. 
Ah, man, that didn't stop him with the Wizards. No. He thought they were good, though. That team was not good. He thought they were good, though. He thinks a lot of teams are good that actually aren't. I think he knows like his he, own team. He's usually, gotta usually his, own. his own. Yes, <laughs> he, Jordan's got to go into this season knowing it's a rough year. So you don't, that, you, you don't think he's like, dude, Terry Rozier is going to carry this team to a ship? Like, come he, on, he might be. I mean, he did give him three years, fifty-eight million. That's fair. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, not it, not fair, really, money wise. But I mean, it's fair to pay somebody that think that. I, I guess it's Jordan. Like, so I don't. I'm, I'm like. Why wouldn't you offer Kemba the max? What like what is the rationale there? As that the Kemba's not good enough to get you to a ship, and you don't want to pay that kind of money if you're not going to win. But yeah, like, but you just to save face, you have to. You just kind of lost them, though. Yep. You can sign them and trade them. I don't see. I don't see a reason to to just let him walk. Well, I'm not saying I agree. I'm just saying that must have been their mindset: is he's not good enough to get us to a championship. We're not going to waste our money on him. We can save it, we can be bad, and we can spend money in other ways. It's scary money territory. can at least attempt to sign and trade. Yeah. Um, Jordan doesn't know how that works. The, what, like, <laughs> the Hornets are another one of those teams, too, where I look at them and I'm like, what, like, what is your plan? Like where like what like where do you go from here though like what what like what are you trying to do like what, what do you look like in three years you know what do you look like I just I have no idea the same they look the same <laughs> probably get lucky in the draft that's so they're in that group now they're in the they lots draft, of teams in that group they draft horribly though they, they do they do they don't they don't draft well at all who's who's their best draft pick in the last five years Michael Kidd Br- Miles Chris. Bridges. Is Michael no, Kidd? No. no, it's not. I'm KG. He's he's one of the examples of. He was a number two pick. I know, but Michael Kidd Gilchrist is one of their biggest examples of a miss. I he's by a miss. their Sometimes standards, they don't hit. Yep. by their standards, I don't think it was a miss. Uh, I don't know what standards they have, but he's not None. he's not a starter on their team. <laughs> so I would say for a number two pick, <laughs> he could he might he might be the four. The four? Yeah, that's what he's been playing. He's not beating out Marvin Williams. Come on, he could beat out Marvin Williams no, easily. No, no way. If they if they don't if they're like eh, let Marvin run with the second team I could I could totally see it just as a a guy who's a defender at the four and that's I don't know I don't does this prove how bad they are that we're arguing who's going to get to start Marvin Williams or Kid Goat Well kid I I asked the question do you think Marvin Williams I think this is the year he gets traded but do you Marvin think, Williams yeah do you think he could matter on a like good team no no. I think Marvin Williams has a lot to offer. I don't think he would be even like play like, in a playoffs. I think he'd be. Ninth or eighth guy on a team on a good team. Eighth, eighth guy might could play. Might, yeah, might a little be. bit, but like ninth guy, tenth guy, I probably think like not. Fifteen to twenty minutes a night, he could make a difference a little bit. Get out there and shoot a little bit and confuse people as to what he's good at. I think during the season in a playoff on a good playoff team, I don't think he gets that spot. Huh? 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 No? Maybe? Maybe? Uh, maybe? maybe? I can see know. Marvin being like a solid eighth man on a team. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Um, so play, pulling up the Vegas, the Vegas win total is here. Oh god, uh, the Vegas no. over unders. The Hornets open as thirty two and a half for oh, their over under. God damn! How much? What, I what would can I win? Hammer the under on that. That's crazy. To, I, I mean, mean, I would hammer the under on that too. But still, I mean, how does still, Charlotte? How does this team win thirty three? I don't know. Let's can we as a show get some money together? Should we bet that right now? <laughs> bet it under <laughs> the name Jabroni yeah, Sports. Can we do a show pot for this? Because I, I need to bet this. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet that. They're, I'll th- they're I'll only throw two games. Bucks they're only two games behind Miami for the for the total. Oh, Miami's going to be better than them. There's no way this unless is, Jimmy gets hurt. There's no way that they're better than Miami. This is absolute lunacy. This is from August first. So this is after. Kemba, like, wow, I that's inc- that's incredible. I I will safely take the under there and feel very very comfortable doing so. That's wild. Like, what what kind of odds you get? Is Pete Stephen oh. money? But it's so it's PJ Washington, like the rookie of the year. Yes, did I, did I not according, know? Like, according to Vegas, <laughs> rookie of the year PJ Washington. Because that's about how many games they won last year. It's not that far off. Terry like, Rozier, Kemba Walker, same guy, same player. <laughs> evidently, I guess I don't. That is insane to me. Um, but yeah, when, I, when, you, when you're talking about Marvin, I could pick like like I could see him on like the Clippers, filling like the Jamichael Green role. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, that's, like, like like that level of a guy. Like, I think he'd go to the Lakers and matter just enough. Yeah. I, I can see it. Um, I like his game a lot. I, I think they just never like, got to play. They, him a they good need. Team. He needs to go. Uh, you probably won't be able to move him, but you got to try. Like Nick Batum, they should be trying to shop like a son he's of a bitch. Making like twenty five million. Twenty yeah, he's getting so paid. Yeah, but I mean, hey, the Wizards could move Otto Porter. 
It's I, I, anything is possible. Yeah, what are the Bulls doing? <laughs> are the Bulls, Do they want another are three? The Bulls interested in Nicholas Batum? <laughs> the Bulls need to get better because NBA Hell's the eighth seed this year, so they got to at least make the eighth seed to stay in NBA Hell. That's what the Bulls are shooting for, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bulls strategy, That's NBA what Hell. Bulls, what the Bulls are shooting for? <laughs> They gotta make the playoffs so they can sell more tickets. That's their only goal. Get, get those two extra games, baby. <laughs> oh, man, the Hornets. I don't know. Like, say like, I, I, if thirty-two and a half is the win total, like, I can't. I, I should be able to say something nice about them, right? Terry Rozier. <laughs> Terry Rozier. Miles, yeah, we should definitely bet that. Miles so, Bridges can dunk on Bovada. It's. 23 is their over under. That's more like it. That's, I still yeah. take the under. That's a tougher. That's a much tougher. How the hell? Who's got? Who had 32 and a half? Westgate. That's insane. That, that's I don't foolish. know what these gambling dudes are yeah, talking about. Yeah, they are about. giving away money then. Gambling bros. And Washington is 28 and a half. That's, that's in there. That's about right. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If, if Bradley Beal got traded, that'd be a sweet one. Yeah, that's an easy one then. Yeah. I just, I don't. I, I think this. I, I think the Hornets are. Yeah, like it's to me, they're the worst team in the league. So I have them predictably at the bottom of this division. I do as well. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's not even a question. Fine. <laughs> Why did you put above them or yeah. below them? I have the Wizards being worse. Okay. So it's not a consensus. Yeah, it should be. But the group vote. I think the best player on either team is Bradley Beal. So that's fair. That and is. We'll I mean, it's a edge. fact. Yeah, that's a the, fact. Yeah, the best. The best player between those two teams is, is absolutely Bradley Beal. And um, Thomas Robert Thomas Bryant Bryant is second best player. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> I'd take Terry Rozier over Thomas Bryant. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, I was gonna say like Mark this, Williams. Wait, number hold on, three, we're forgetting about something. Is Frank Kaminsky still on the Hornets? No, no, no he's not. Yep, he's, he's a son. Oh, yeah, he's that's right. Phoenix son. Yeah, the Hornets are for sure going to be the worst team in the league without Frank. Without, without Frank the Tank. Some people have said he's a future All Star. I've heard. Yeah, I've heard. I heard future Hall of Famer. Future Hall of Famer. That's fair. That's I, fair. No, I legit I mean, have. Yeah, Wisconsin, but still. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, duh. But uh, yeah, that's enough for the Hornets. I don't want to talk about them anymore. They, Thank they, God. They, they made me sad. Um. So that brings us to last year's division-winning banner raiser, burr, burr, burr. the right. Orlando Magic. Woo-hoo. All right, let's go, magicians. The magic- last year, the magicians finished forty-two and forty, uh, which was enough to win this sad, sad Southeast Division, uh, where they were dispatched in the first round by the eventual NBA champion Toronto Not Raptors. Not before winning Game One, though. They won that Game they One. They did win Game One. I thought it was over. They were dispatched in five games. Um, I think Steve Clifford cemented himself as a good coach last year. Thought he did a very nice job steering this team through the regular season. T. Ross showed you what he could do as a six man if you'd like to have him in that role because he shouldn't be starting. Um, yeah, I, I, they. It's a team that like should be more interesting than it is, and the reason that it's not is because they have no flexibility. There is, also their stars are out, outside of T. Ross to me. Their stars are pretty boring. It's like. What do you, are you watching Evan Fournier highlights? Are you watching... MCW doesn't do anything for you? <laughs> no, he sure doesn't. <laughs> you know, they got point guards that can't shoot besides DJ Augustine. Didn't, didn't Vucci Man make the All-Star game? Yeah, he but did. do you like, like watching Vucci Man play? Nope. And he, hates that, <laughs> and he hates that nickname, so keep calling him by it. Yeah. Oh, man. I remember uh, when you watch NBA games with people who don't really watch the NBA, they're like, oh... Especially during the All Star Game. Oh, what country is he from? <laughs> America. Yeah, that's uh, just, just just a white guy. Yeah. Just, um, his name's foreign. The yeah. worst. The worst kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's him and Kyle Corver holding it down. That's about it. <laughs> I guess Kevin Hoarder. It's a random American white guy. I'd still just, put Kevin Love. It's probably the best random. Oh American yeah, guy. I forget Kevin Love still plays basketball. Yeah, he's in there. I just I, I know when I look at the Magic uh, when I when I was going through their roster, I was like, wow, this team made the playoffs. Like, it was, like, part of it was just, I mean... They didn't lose or gain anyone. No, it's it's the same team. What about Mo Bamba? Do we like him? They got Alfred Rukamino. They did. They, oh, Jesus they, they Christ. Did, they did sign Alfred Rukamino. <laughs> For three years, $39 million? Yeah, uh, $30 million. $30 million. Oh, oh, excuse me. But, uh... And they brought in a much-needed injured big man. Which one? Okiki. They drafted him. Oh, okay. They drafted an injured big man. That's what great. about, what about more of those. Yep. What about Ken Birch? Do you, are you high on him? Can't say I am. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> See, the thing for me is the Magic are a weirdly constructed team because I actually kind of like their front court. Uh, I'm, I like Jonathan Isaac. Uh, I like Mobamba. I like Aaron Gordon. I like Vuce, Vucevic. So you like John Hammond? I, I mean, 
couple of those three draft picks. Also, all the length. I he's can't just believe, add, he's just adding length. Yeah, but I think it's a decent front court. I mean, uh, my only issue is why don't they believe in point guards? It's not to have DJ Augustine. What more do you need to believe in? <laughs> why do also, the, why do the Magic not think point guards matter? Also, how can you say Aaron Gordon's good? I, he's a bad guy. Have you you saw Uncle Drew, man? He's it's, that's a, a fucking movie. bad dude, man. That's a movie. Oh, it's it's document- not real life. Documentary. He's playing a character. It's documentary. He didn't they, actually go to join Nick Kroll's team. Okay. Yeah, he did. They believe in point guards. They got the point guard of the future. Markel Fultz. Absolutely. Nah. Um, mm-hmm. Once there, that guy the, figures out how to shoot a free throw. <laughs> <laughs> Look Watch out, world! Out league. Is there any hashtag this Sa- league? Same with Michael Carter Williams, though. Well, oh, you mean former rookie of the year, Michael Carter Williams? Show some respect. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I needed to mention Hold it. Hold on, Fultz is different than Carter Williams. Fultz had an injury. That's he still doesn't know how to shoot. Well, it was an injury with his shoulder. You know, Fultz still maybe can do something. If he, if he got properly treated, I mean, Fultz I mean, is still twenty-one years old too. I'm not going to count him out. He's got more of a shot than Michael Carter Williams. I'll give you that. Yes. That is absolutely true. I mean, um, he's had a year, two years to practice his jumper, get whatever injury, or something weird with his shoulder, get whatever that's out. I still have a little bit of hope for Markel Fultz. I don't. I have none. The, the reason that, I have more hope for DJ Augustine. The, the reason, like the Fultz thing, do we still know? Like, do we know what happened? Do we know what handy shoots with? Yeah, like <laughs> we're not talking about Ben Simmons here, all right? <laughs> but like Markel Fultz is, was like mental, also. Like it was a Derrick Rose injury. It was like, something weird about his shoulder where nobody he kept getting misdiagnosed, and then they they think they finally got it down, so that's why it took him like a year to recover. And then so they hopefully, gave up. hopefully, now it'll be like it Kawhi actually Leonard. works. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. What happens? You get yeah. No, he'll be like, well, dang, they'll give him a spinal tap to start the season. Almost kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Leave him on his deathbed. Lose 20 pounds. <laughs> like, they, like, he might be there. He's probably their backup point guard, though. He might be their starting point guard. He should if be. He can beat out DJ Augustine. He should be able to beat out DJ Augustine. He hit that game winner. Come on. Yeah, he did. He won um, them that one playoff game. DJ Augustine's like 35, 34, 30, like. It's like 30. Point guard of the future. Seems like he's been in the league forever. It's 30, Thirty-one. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not. He's it like feels 35. like he, it feels like he's been in the league a long time. Like I would have guessed like fifty-two. I thought him and Fatty Felton were <laughs> like fifty-two. The, yeah. I thought him and Fatty Felton were the same draft. No, All right. no, they were not. They just played on the Knicks together in one games. That's a couple. Yeah, not, no, not, not, they won games more than one. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. They, did, they did win games. Games, uh, I suppose. Did sure. they win more than one game together? Yeah, That's, they had to. At least two. Mello was on those teams. Yeah, we as we saw tonight, Mello carried that 2012 team. That vintage, that vintage, that classic 2012 classic Knicks game. Bulls game we watched. Yeah, <laughs> thanks during, NBA TV during during show prep. Yeah, it's fantastic. It wasn't a regular season game. It was. It was. It it was. was. They were playing in a April. regular yeah. season April game on NBA TV yeah, between just give the... you guys a, a look behind the curtain of our show prep. <laughs> of we were the... watching an NBA TV classic rewind game of between the Knicks, the Knicks and Bulls squeaking into the playoffs. <laughs> Behind a clutch performance from Carmelo Anthony. That's the only reason we were watching. I, I was on the edge clutch. of my seat the whole time. Yeah. Well, big, you're only here for the fourth, so I mean, over, good time. Big overtime on. victory. Also, yeah. yeah. Can, we, can we confirm? What? We did not watch overtime. Yeah, but I mean, they won. You don't know that. Well, yeah, said, we don't know. that. It says clutch performance by Melo, but it I didn't, didn't say it they won. I it wasn't that it. clutch at the end. He just made all three. Yeah, that's true. So he made one three in the last two minutes. There's more clutch to come. Yeah, Yeah, in overtime, absolutely. And the Bulls just missed a lot of free throws. Bulls did miss a lot of free throws as well. (laughs) (laughs) They missed like six in a row. (laughs) I mean, it's not so much uh, Melo comes up clutch as the Bulls Bulls fall apart. Bulls choke horribly. Yeah, so if you want to tune into that 2012, <laughs> yeah. shout out we're... to Ronnie Brewer. Go back in time a little bit, and you're good. How come every, no matter what we're talking about, we shit on the Bulls? Because the Bulls ha- fucking suck. It happens in every single segment. The Bulls come up, and then we shit on them. Because the Bulls suck, and Kobe, Johnny's a Bulls fan. And Kobe White's got good hair, though. We'd Kobe, be doing like the same thing if the Bucks didn't have Giannis. Yeah, I mean. And so in two years we're going to be doing the same thing <laughs> about the Bucks. <laughs> we did the same thing with the Bucks for. for, for <laughs> oh no! Uh, 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 they, uh, it appears that Jacob is is leaving the podcast at the uh, insinuation that Giannis might leave in 2021. That uh, already a hard topic for Bucks I gotta fans. Say that. <laughs> you I gotta just, start preparing hey, yourself now. I'm going to tell you the worst. So if it doesn't happen, you feel great. Yeah. But now I'm preparing you for the you. inevitable. You might as well. Get you know ready. where I live. There's no like, finding me. I, you yeah. guys had your season this year. Yeah. yeah, and I that think that's the ceiling. We you guys yeah. did it. 
We good work. Good. You're pretty good. <laughs> They're still this year, maybe. You did what the Bucks do. You made the Eastern Conference Finals. Yep, we might do it again this year. Yeah. That'll be that. It'll be a great 18. No, you won't. Every next one. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 18, you're giving it a 25. Yeah, maybe. you're, you're being pretty generous. Everyone will be tired from playing in FIBA except Eric Bledsoe. I'm, oh, they just, they just need to add more <laughs> midseason tournaments is all. That's for sure. That'll keep everybody I think this, fresh. I think this show took a stance that we don't want midseason tournaments. Hold on, we didn't say that. I'm in for that. Oh, I right. just need to know why we're doing them. I just don't want them because you need a little bit more intrigue during the season. I got plenty. I what? mean, they do it. They do it in soccer all the time. I know, but there's history behind those, and like you, you win. You go to something else if you win some of them. What does the midseason tournament winner win? In a, the banner. NBA? a banner. A banner. A trip to Peru. I love banners. <laughs> I'm a big banner guy here. Yeah, I don't like for me it's just why are we doing them? Like I don't get it. I don't I'm not I don't want to play in a tournament. Because why would you ever why would you ever play your good players in it if it doesn't matter? Just exactly. I would just well, I think roll, out games... G, you roll out your G League team and get smashed and then you're like, Thank God we don't have to play any more games, we can rest. Why well, are they gonna still well, count the, the bulls games? are out there trying <laughs> <laughs> Bulls win Lori the Cup Mar- again. Lori Lori playing forty five minutes a night. <laughs> Wait, aren't aren't the games still going to matter for regular season games? No, no it's they'd a be a tournament a separate thing. from all it's of a this. Separate tournament, yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't right. make any sense. It's a waste of time. I'll tell you what, though, the Magic would probably go for it in that mid season. Oh tournament. hell they yeah! They should throw that, European teams in the, there too. The, Why not? That'd be fun. Well, that's maybe I could get, see that's something. That's different though. But yeah, that's exhibition games, and then you wouldn't see NBA players playing in that. You'd see like. End of the bench guys and G League guys. Yeah, I, I, I think NBA teams would want to make sure they beat the European teams. I don't think anyone wants to be out there losing to That'd be cool. Real they do, Madrid. And, they do yeah. stuff like that in soccer all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I wouldn't hate that. Make a world championship. Mix Worldwide? Up, sprinkle a couple of those. I mean, the, the preseason sucks now anyways. Yeah. If they didn't like preseason, I'd be all about it. If there was well, like they a did preseason it, tournament. They did it in Summer League. They just threw China in there. The China, whole country. China and who, Croatia or something? Serbia, who, who did China beat? Wasn't the Heat? No, it's the Hornets. Hornets, yeah. <laughs> China, China lost their other games by like an average of like twenty eight <laughs> points, and then they beat the Hornets. <laughs> Who has all young players? <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of their actual team was playing. That's I forgot about that. That might be the worst part of the Hornets off season was losing to the Chinese <laughs> national worse, team. It's worse than losing Kemba. <laughs> like Wang Wang Zhiji was killing them. Oh, he was, was destroying them. He just they had no them. answers. No, nope, nothing inside for him. Absolutely uh, nothing. That was that was so good. You could have a tournament in August. I'd I'd be all for a tournament right like now. Right Give now, me something. I got. We're, yeah, I agree. We're, we're, we're I'm watching. Watch, I'm watching Drew. We're talking highlights. about the Southeast Division. <laughs> oh, we're not. We're, we're 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 dying here. Um. Finally, for the for the Magic. Um. Uh, like I, I kind of alluded to this. This is it. This like don't don't expect anything more for the Magic because they can't. Uh, they re-signed Terrence Ross to a four-year, $52 million deal in the offseason. That's smart, though. They re-signed Nicola. <laughs> Why is that smart? Because they'll be able to, just, you know, in two years, they'll be able to trade him and get something. <laughs> no, they won't. Uh-huh. They'll get worse in it'll two be, years. It'll be a bad contract in two years. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, oh, um, look at this guy, six-man. <laughs> Nikola Vucevic signed a four-year, $120 million deal. Yeah, that's bad money. Uh, Minu got three years, $30 million. Uh, this was one of my favorite things, first of all. They're only five point four million dollars under the hard cap, so they are a luxury tax paying team with this core. Hey, this, this, gotta lock you, them up. When you, make the, when you make the playoffs, you gotta lock that shit down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they are a tax paying team uh, that won forty two games. Last well, everyone year. should be paying taxes. That's not fair. Yeah. That, well, then I mean, in Florida, no state income tax. That's why people go there. That's how Jimmy gets a partner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> only one though. Uh, and then this was fun to me. They're only five point four million under the hard cap. However. They are paying Timothy Mozgov $5.5 million a year to not play for them until 2022. Love that. Yep. Wait, why? Is he... they, they use the stretch provision on Mozgov so that they could free up cap space now to, to bring back this group. So they will pay Timothy Mozgov $5.5 million till 2022. Couldn't they have stretched him more? Uh, no, they wanted they, they wanted just a little bit of room. They want a little bit of cash right now. Couldn't you just it was, keep it was, them? So they lock up these players. It's yeah. their money, and they want it now. Hi. Okay, that's what it was, yeah. Uh, cash advance, do you have a settlement or another payment? Annuity? Re- yeah, an annuity <laughs> that you receive on a month-to-month basis. Do you need cash now? Well, then come to the Orlando Magic, where John Hammond will sign you to a contract you don't deserve. I have a bad team, but I need cash now. <laughs> Orlando Magic. <laughs> Need cash now. 
<laughs> the Orlando, their jersey sponsor should be like payday loans. <laughs> They're going to have 17 different sponsors throughout their jersey. The ones under their arms aren't worth that much because players got their arms at their side sometimes, but the ones on the back of the jerseys are money. Like, you know how they have the ones like above the hoop sometimes? Yeah. Like their entire above the hoop is just going to be like yeah. a banner of sponsors. It's going to look like a skate skateboard deck or something where it's just covered in stickers. Yeah. Like every single aspect will be like, and now... Here's the Magic GM brought to you by Carl's Jr. <laughs> they'll, they'll have starting at center brought to you by Burger King. <laughs> they'll have like Lowe's painted Bo-ba-ba. in the paint. <laughs> Every aspect of their court will also be sponsored. Out, it'll be like. lo- it'll be like logoception. Yeah, like they'll have, they'll have the center court logo, and then it'll just say like Universal Studios over the top of it. Like, Dude, oh man, it's I think, be I, rough. Think we, I think we've come up with a way for the Magic to, to get another guy, though. They need <laughs> cash now. <laughs> we just need we just need to get in contact, dude. Evan, still, I might I might still have John Hammond's phone number. Evan Turner's to be a good guy for <laughs> them. Reach out, yep. Evan Turner, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Evan Turner. Throw a bunch of money at him. <laughs> yeah, Evan Turner fits their criteria. Yeah, middling guy doesn't really move the needle, but he makes. Like he makes at least a ton 10 million. of dough, yeah. yeah like, he's pretty much their whole team. Yeah. Maybe they should get like those water tattoos of sponsors. You know, that you used to get out of the vending machine, you slap it on your arm. They'll sweat through them. They could at least do the henna ones. Yeah, they could do the henna they ones. Could, they could yeah. do henna, henna body sponsors. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Fuck you, my Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> they should have their undershirt sponsored as well. So after the game, when they have to take oh, off their when they, shirts, okay, when they do a jersey, not everyone then, does that. And then beforehand, Nobody's... they have another sponsor for the warm ups. And the warm ups, yeah, warm ups, shooting shirts. In soccer, they have sponsors for the warm ups. They need uh, the, the pants, warm up pants. You can't do sponsors yeah. in your hair, though. I learned that from Amon Shumpert. Oh, that's right. Because he tried. He did what? Was he the Supreme logo guy? No, he did the JR. JR has the tattoo. A Supreme tattoo that he had to cover up. That's right, but. Yeah, so tattoos wouldn't work either. But yeah, yeah. Amon Shumpert had the Adidas logo in his hair, and they made him take it out. They said no mm. go. Mm. Yeah, they actually shaved his head. It's in the middle of the court, like like a wrestling match. Like they shaved Amon's little Adidas logo off. It was very dramatic. But it was interesting. <laughs> they brought like, out a lot. Like the halftime show like or something. Hum- <laughs> it was public humiliation. Yeah, it was. They were like, "Come on, you know better than this." <laughs> yeah, he should have sued them. That sounds horrible. It's in his contract. They had nothing he could do. <laughs> He should have read it better. I mean, it's, it's rare. Uh, <laughs> Strange so thing to put other, in the contract, but it paid off. Other than hey, it worked out for everyone. Other than, <laughs> pimping, pimping, out, <laughs> other than pimping out <laughs> Orlando Magic, um, is there anything worth talking about with with these Orlando magicians? No, yeah, they might get the eight spot. They, they Those can. are they're one of the two teams that can in this division. I think maybe three. I don't know. The Hawks maybe like. I think it's. Too early pro- for the Hawks. Yeah, it's probably it's probably going to come. It's not down. for the Magic. They're not getting better. It's, so it's the, so so it's the Battle of Florida to determine the Southeast Division. Uh, I, I give up. You can have it. Keep it. Uh, I don't think anyone wants it. The way they're the way they're constructing these teams. No. When's Tampa going to get a team? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the Rays move to Montreal. Ah, that's the well. Play. They're only spending half the time there. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll they're just vacationing, they'll play in the trap. Gonna, Wait, you haven't heard that, yeah, Johnny? They're gonna yeah, I have. They're going to split. Are, did that go through? Are the no? Okay, God no. <laughs> no. They need it too. No, yeah. I mean they could, but yeah, St. Petersburg said no. Can uh, Miami and Tampa just share a team? That's maybe a better idea. Uh-huh. Yeah, they each get forty games a year that they don't show up to. <laughs> yeah, they don't sell tickets. Who would notice? I yeah. mean, they're the Florida Marlins. Yeah, so you can exactly. put them anywhere in Florida. And they're, they're the, the Miami Marlins. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're not, that's not right. Anymore. Yeah, they're, they're the, the Miami Marlins. They can go back. Nobody will notice. Nobody, Nobody watches yeah. the Marlins. They had cooler hats when they were Florida. Anyways. Yeah, exactly. Who who needs a team though? Who's desperate for a team? Montreal. Montreal right. in Florida. No, yeah, can... I was just saying in general. Montreal would be the next what about, place. What about Louisville? Oh, I'd love a team of Louisville. Oh, you got the Louisville Sluggers. I mean, Louisville Sluggers are already there. You got the you got a Louisville Slugger Museum, so I figured, why not get a team? Well, I could mash all those taters and just use the bats from the Louisville Slugger Museum. Louisville will never run out of bats. What, about, what about Omaha? Get Omaha a team. No, nah, they got stakes. They, they can play on the Little League World Series field. They play a game there every year. Heck yeah, play yeah. all the games there. They play uh, The Royals play a game there every year. That's unfortunate. They, they, <laughs> do they sell out that joint? They do, of course, yeah. They play mm-hmm. one Don't the Royals sell pretty well? Yeah, they're, they're not that bad yeah. attendance wise, but uh, they're a cool stadium. Should do favorite. it in Kenosha. The Co- Kenosha Kingfish uh, 
Great turnout. <laughs> Worst team in the league, but the turnout's second best well, in the Northwoods I don't know. league. We saw Northwoods pretty pretty shit performance that we talked about, but I mean, yeah, the, the, the rafters didn't. The rafters the shit the bed. Getting mm-hmm. hooked. <laughs> What's that? The Chinooks? Yeah, big time. Like Chinooks, wow, mm-hmm. uh, we got a rivalry here. Got a, wow. got, a, got a Northwoods league rivalry. Hey man, the Kenosha Kingfish. Yeah. They draw a crowd. They draw a crowd. People They're like to go get good. drunk in public. Yeah. <laughs> no better place to do it at a baseball game in Kenosha. Yep. Amen. Amen, brothers. Go mm. off. <laughs> go off with your bad stuff. I like the Mallards, too. Madison Mallards? They do no. draw a big crowd, the Madison Mallards. Yeah, I think they're, like, number one in the league. Are we just going to keep are. naming teams? Sure. In the right, Northwoods League. What about those Dock Spiders? How do you feel uh, about that? Ooh, Dock nice. Spiders? The Fondy Dock Spiders? What about the Pit Spitters? <sighs> I don't know the Pit Spitters. Traverse City. Traverse City. Traverse Pit City. Is that yeah. Michigan? Wait, are we doing only Northwoods? Yeah, North these are all Northwoods okay. League teams. Yeah. 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 I don't know any. As a uh, former Northwoods League yeah, what about the big bombers guy? What about the uh, um, Kalamazoo bombers? Thunder Bay Thunder. That's not. I, don't, I know there's a team there's in Thunder, Thunder Bay. Bay there's Thunder Bear. I don't know what their uh, mascot is. I think they changed their team name since since I've been around the block. The, <laughs> since back in your day, the <laughs> Doc Spiders though is such a horrible name. Like, but they won last year in their inaugural season. I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, that's I think cool. it's a good name. I don't know. Do you know? Is are there a lot of spiders on docks? Is that a thing? Probably. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> okay. I guess probably. You tell right. me there's. You go tell me there's not. <laughs> Why couldn't they say. have just been the spiders though? Why do they have to clarify? You have that to they're... clarify some kind of spider. I mean, it's a it's huge. More, it's more. Kenosha's just the. Ki- well, I guess Kenosha is the king fish. It's yeah. not a thing, but it, it's the fish yeah, it that's is. the king. It's a fish that looks like Elvis. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, that's why the mascot's name is Elvis. It's a spider that looks like a dock. Okay. Doctor Spider. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty sure I have seen a kingfish on a uh, tanked. Pretty sure that's one of the fish they put in someone's great show. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's not actually a fish. I think it's just you know Shh. king of the fish. Prove it. Like chicken. I, mean, I like that we've gotten to the part of the show where we're just yelling things at each other. Prove it. <laughs> Say that it's not. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, we're talking about the magicians. I mean, yeah, we were. We were talking about the Orlando we're, magicians. We're getting, we're getting off topic. I got nothing more to say about the Orlando magicians. It's okay. Frankly, Let's keep talking Northwoods. Well, this is for quite someone. Quite frankly, I don't. Got I can much add the hashtag to YouTube. Yeah. Hashtag Northwoods League. Uh, who's okay? Where where do we got the magic? Where do they fit in before? All right. We, so we're gonna we read it again. Uh, read it over. What do you mean? Read, I got them after read the heat. Our current list. Yeah. Uh, currently, from bottom to top, it goes Charlotte, Washington, Atlanta, Miami. I got them ahead of. Atlanta. Yeah, I put them between Atlanta and Miami. Yep. They're winning the division again. Okay. Winning the division again? Mm. They uh, did lock up that team. <laughs> <laughs> got got the, to lock the, up the, that team. I mean, you win the division, you lock up that team. You're going for the division championship the next year. The I'm just kidding, guys. I was going to say, I, I am going to say that they finished second. Uh, and here's some reasons why. Okay. I, I think that they are kind of one of those teams last year where everything just sort of it clicked. Um, it just it fell right. It was it was uh, well, it's a whole greater than the sum of the parts situation. I think Clifford did a really good job. Uh, I think they had a lot of buy in from guys, and I think that like they're also a team that benefited from a complete lack of expectation. And now having brought back this team, presumably they're a year older. They should be a year better. I, I think I think. For them, the ex- the expectation has to be to improve upon last year. They also had the best sponsorship pairing in the in the league, in What's my that? opinion. They had Disney. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it makes makes a ton of sense. They got yeah. some Disney money. But yeah, I I think mm-hmm. that for them, they they think that they have to think that that team's like can at least win forty six games. What did they win last year? Forty two. But when, look, I think why would they think they get better? Why wouldn't they? I don't, I don't know. Why do you bring back that team if you think that that was your ceiling? Yeah, I think they're going to be probably forty two and forty, but I think the Heat are going to be. Forty-four and thirty-eight. Yeah, or so, you know, like, like that. I don't think there's a great, I don't think there's a great team. Is there? Let's, you know what? Let's look at this division as a whole. Let's ignore who wins the division. Whatever. Is there any team in this division that can win a playoff series? No, mm-hmm. not a single no. one. Nope. Nope. No. No. What? What team in that actually looks like they have a bright future besides the Hawks? The Hawks have a bright future. None. Is what's going for all the other teams? None. There? Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing there. It's crazy that there's an entire division. Unless just, John Wall comes back and is like better than ever. And Bradley Beal plays out of his mind, and, and, and somebody Beale somehow takes another jump. I don't and know, then like, they sign Boogie this summer. It's then crazy, like maybe or they, yeah, they. I don't, I don't know because it's. I, I just I don't see how it happens because they're none of these teams are better than Philly. None of these teams are better than Milwaukee. None of these teams are better than Indiana. Um, like uh, none of these teams are better than Boston. I don't think any of these Brooklyn. teams are better than Brooklyn. 
Like, you got to beat one of those teams if you're going to win a series. The New York like, Knicks. Uh, what was that? New York Knicks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right, guys? Did you just say their name? Or is that? are you saying New- that they're better than anyone? They're the best. They're, the best. <laughs> they're the just the best. Let's go, Knicks! <laughs> the Knicks are one of the best teams in terms of sheer entertainment. Um, but yeah, I think... I Entertain- think they're uh, a good soap opera. They are. Yeah, they do make a great soap opera. So yeah, they I, should bring back Jr. I think I think no, no, nobody should do that. Whoa, maybe whoa. the Hornets. Nah, nah. Maybe the Hornets could bring Jr. in. He'd play on the Hornets. Yeah, weren't the Bucks reportedly going to sign Jr. He was in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, they talked to him before they signed Kyle Korver. Yeah, so I think that 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 road is now closed to him as well. With the uh, Bucks like six through twelve for all. Decent. Yep, that's exactly. Never okay. know who's going to play. <laughs> yep, the Bucks roster, the Bucks roster composition is going to be a mess. I have yep. no idea what that rotation looks like next year. Like, Got so many players that are they could. It'll play be fine in the regular bench. season. Like, yeah, the playoff roster is going to. Yeah, be Yeah, the playoff rrr. rotation is going to yeah. be. Yeah. You got to hope most guys get hurt. That's, <laughs> that's the only way for it to make any sense. Yeah, bunch yeah. of bench guys get hurt. So if we're like we're talking down the road, we all we all agree Atlanta is the team that. That's the only like team. The best. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's the only team I like at all. Uh, also. We we neglected to mention a very important fact about Atlanta. Uh, they have a player named Charlie Brown Jr. That's wanted, that's my cool name of the week. Is Charlie Brown Jr. <laughs> I wanted to get that in that's before we went cool off the air here. Yeah, Charlie Thank Brown you. Jr. is on a two way deal, so uh, I, I think it's safe to assume that he's Charlie Brown's son, right? Yeah. So he's probably bald. He saw his dad's frustration with the game of football throughout the years, <laughs> and he was like, you know what, I'm going to go a different way. I'm, I'm a man unto myself. They're going to fake him. alley-oops to him all the time. Oh, he's no. going to jump on and smack his head on the backboard. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, go for the lob, and he's going to go, and they're just going to like, nothing. They're just going to do a chest pass around the perimeter. It's going to be so mean. It'll be great. Poor, poor Charlie Brown Jr. <laughs> That's a tough name. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, God, do they play that when he like makes a bad play on the road? <laughs> Yes, of you play, course. You, you play the sad Charlie Brown song if yes, he screws up. You, yeah. you have to. You don't have a choice. <laughs> you, I mean, I'm sure he's going to be playing so much. For their G League affiliate. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you mean? He's a two-way guy. Oh, yeah. There's a, yeah. Man. He's probably like a starter on their G League team. Santa Cruz is just going to give him hell. <laughs> I can't wait till he comes up to the mean streets of Oshkosh. Ooh, oh, boy, <laughs> to yeah. take on the herd. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's the herd noise, I think. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a herd at all. Is that the sound a deer makes? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's... What that's, was that? That's the noise a deer makes. What? Was, what? <laughs> Hard oh. deer. Oh. Are they a ghost? They're spooky. Is they're he okay? <laughs> they're spooky deer? They're spooky deer. You should take him to the vet. That doesn't seem healthy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 they, act, they actually Please have a splitter. They actually have a splitter and a bear trap attached to their leg that they need to get off, and that's just the noise a deer makes when that happens. Oh, God, what a terrible mascot! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the hey, bloody <laughs> trap deers. <laughs> it's still better than uh, the bucks mascot. Get on your feet and get ready for some t-shirts from everyone's favorite mascot, crippled deer. <laughs> he just kind of hobbles out there, He's Ooh. dragging a leg behind him, caught in a trap. <laughs> They'd love that mascot. Like, like, oh, yeah, this- yeah, brother. <laughs> somebody, somebody got a good shot on yeah, that one. Make sure to put him down, though. Some good venison there. <laughs> he probably get shot as a mascot. Oh no! <laughs> Too lifelike. That that arena probably has the conceal and carry policy. A lot of camo. Yeah, a lot of camo yeah. at her games. Well, any, anytime somebody wears camo to um, the Bucks, you know, they kick them out. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed yeah, that. Do they? They kick them out. They think they're in there because they're going to shoot Bango. Oh, okay. They're hunting. Yeah. That's fair. They Bango, I wish they'd let them in. To, to shoot Bango? Jesus! That is worst ma- I've been on record. Worst mascot in the NBA. I don't think he's that bad. He uh, doesn't do anything! I mean, you know, like, the good guy retired. I mean, what do you want to do? What do you yeah. want to do? Well, then I mean, just retire Bango or bring back a new... Don't try and make it a new Bango. You can come up with a different name. Well, you're going to do like a different Bingo? deer then? Sure, why not? Like but his brother, Blingo? Uh, deer yeah. the deer. <laughs> yeah, Blingo. I like Blingo. <laughs> Dringo? Steve doesn't do tricks. He's actually an accountant. Yeah. Uh, he's Steve the Deer. That's a, that'd be more than the books <laughs> that Bango does now. Steve the Deer, he's the one who does He does the uh, the books. He does the books at court side. He marks the stats. And what's Steve the Deer up to? It's just a clip of him on the computer in the back yeah, in the figuring office. Figuring out how many assists Chris Middleton had that half. Let's take a look at the Powerball assist leader, Chris Middleton, with four. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> He's just got a chalkboard. (laughs) 
He can only count to two, though. It's all, it's, it's all the hooks he can use. That's it. How many dunks did Giannis have? At least two. Steve's not sure. He's doing his best. This is better than Bango. Yeah. Well, this is better than any mascot. Literally, all Bango does is come out and rev a hog at, before the fourth quarter. For our sponsor, Holly Davidson. And then he slowly Sometimes he off. shoots off the t-shirt gun. He does. Largest cannon in the world. <laughs> He shoots off those t-shirts pretty fucking far. He yeah, does. he does. He does. He doesn't do any tricks. No. Bango used to do all sorts he of stuff. He slammed dunks, right? He's no. on the dunk squad? He does, he not, does not the, not the dunk squad. Really. The dunk squad's he pretty d- bad. So. Yeah. yeah. The blocks yeah. dunk squad Wait, is with the rim bad. rockers? Is yeah. that the rim rockers? Yeah, yeah. come on. Watch also, your language. Also, did you guys see the Bucks got rid of the, uh, the Bucks dancers? Good. The, nice they were uncomfortable. Yeah, there's no more cheerleaders. It's going to be... It's going to be a mixed gender dance crew. That's so progressive. That's so progressive. <laughs> Dude, I love it. it. So they're, I think they're going to be doing like slam poetry and then break dancing is what I'm. That's I love my it. understanding. They yes. had that guy with like the metal box that he was no, standing on. That Red one Panda time. is the goat. Well, Red Panda is great, but he's talking. Oh, what's that one? The cube dude. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like the guy with the European cube. guy, like Yuri or something. He spins yeah, the cube awesome. around in the air and then he's on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he sticks it up his ass. What about the like, guy? Look at me. What about the guy who just keeps stacking chairs? Yeah, I like that's that impressive. Guy. That's yeah. He's he's up What there. about what about the family that does cartwheels over each other? Ah, oh, that's <laughs> just that's just two people. It's just a da- father and son. No, it? I think he has. It's a father with like three boys. Okay, it might be. And they do like jumps and cartwheels over each other. Yeah, Nobody no. will ever be as good as the guy at the NBA 2K halftime shows with the bicycle. Oh, his wheelies are out of this <laughs> yeah, world. They are crazy. <laughs> I never skipped a halftime show, just so I can get those bike tricks in. Hey, and to your earlier question, the only trick thing that Bango does is he does a backwards half-court shot that I've literally never seen him make. It's for free Qdoba, and I don't think they actually have the sponsorship anymore, and he just goes out there and whiffs. It's just a solid minute of him throwing the ball backwards. And most of the time, not even connecting with the backboard. It's one of the more rougher things at a Bucks game. It's, it really brings the crowd down, too. Because then they come out of the timeout, and the energy is just flat. Because Nico usually draws iron like once, maybe. They got the like, yeah. out there missing like yeah. 75% yeah. of their dunks, immediately followed by 44 air balls but from Bango. Let's he, go, team. Yeah. He's not even Milwaukee. 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 He's not even Bucks. chucking them. Go, go, Bucks. Go, Bucks. Go, Bucks. He's not even chucking them up there at a good rate where it's like, all right, if he's chucking he's, a he's bunch of them, he, by the end point. he's Let waiting and he's looking at the clock and he's like, all right, I got three seconds. Huh? Huh? Okay. Huh? I didn't get it all. I don't want to anyways, guys. Sorry. He's no Benny the Bull. I think I think Ben is on the take from uh, Chipotle. Yeah. I just want to start that rumor right now. No, I think Qdoba, because I think Qdoba doesn't want to hand out that free stuff. They don't want to pay it out? Yeah, I thought he was secretly trying to like make people not go to Qdoba by missing all the time. I don't think people cash in on any of that stuff anyways. You don't get your free chili from Wendy's? No. You never I don't <laughs> open the silos. Yeah, you've never partaken on the chili silo? No, I think they added cheeseburgers. Like it's junior, junior bacon cheese. Yeah, junior Ooh. bacon. Yeah, the junior bacon cheese is now one of the uh, the free the freebies. When the Bucks win, you win. Okay. I don't know if you guys I don't win, though. Okay. Yeah. That's, well, go that's off. They, yeah. <laughs> so if you ever go see the Bucks at the Pfizer Four, and make sure that the time to get a beer or take a piss, you don't have to wait for the break because you don't want to see the Dunk Squad miss fifty oh. percent of their dunks no. or Bango throw a ball I mean, behind his head. Would be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear I saw the entire round because they all jump after one another on the trampoline. They all missed. Every it. single person breaks. My favorite is when they bounce the ball off the backboard for a minute and a half, and then they miss the final dunk. <laughs> It's like, damn, so many. Hey, also, you don't want to stay for halftime because it could be Frank Caliendo. <laughs> that was one time. That was Biz one Marquee. time too many. Oh, yeah. Biz, uh, we saw Biz Marquee last oh, year. Man. That was rough. Biz was not looking great, if I'm being honest. Uh, sounding great for no. that matter. <laughs> Did he ever sound great? No. Yeah. That's, no but he sounds it. worse. Yeah, he sounds notably worse. Uh, oh, you, man. Might, hey, you might get Ja Rule. I mean, that was Dude, you, you, we the all shot count we, we heard, heard around the world. <laughs> That was Wait. on Sports Center. Wait, was, what? Ja Rule. When they, he's like, he's like, Milwaukee, are you ready? And the crowd made no noise. <laughs> and he's like, I guess not. <laughs> and then he couldn't get his music to play. I think that's why he said, I guess not, was because his music wasn't playing. No, I think it was because the crowd was dead. There's no reaction whatsoever. And, and Ja was dead inside. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone had just seen the Firefest yep. movie and they were like, fuck this, dude. It was pretty bad timing because yeah. I remember, like, 
all the stuff that John booked, like, before those documentaries were a big deal, had to be awkward. Yeah. Like, once he showed up... Because I'm pretty days, sure he doesn't get booked for anything anymore. Yeah, because the public perception... He gets booked for 90s nights. That's it. I don't think anymore. I don't even think he's going to be the go-to. I think he'll get, like... Uh, cool, they'll like, come like, back. Like, like, like Black Street. Like, it'll, they'll be, like, anybody before Ja Rule, dude. Like, yeah. it don't matter. Like, Master P. If you made, like, a song in the 90s, you're in there. Like, Nelly. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants Ja Rule showing up anymore. Maybe over DMX. No. I mean, DMX did die in a Walmart parking lot. I don't know if I'd want him performing my halftime show. Wait, I mean, what happened? I would only want him yeah, that, Like, a few years ago, DMX died in a Walmart parking lot. They brought him back to life. Oh, I hope yeah. he performs yeah. at the Christmas halftime show and sings Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Red Nose Reindeer, come on! Had a very shiny you know. What's up? What's up? You know he recorded that on Spotify? Like, it's an actual real song now? It's not just a YouTube video? Oh, Why not put it on Spotify? John. Yeah, he's making money off of it. <laughs> Thank God. Man. John's, a, John's a man of the people. He knows what they want. No, we're, DMX. We're come on. DMX. Come on. John Rule those signal on Christmas I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that was poor. Wow. Have, have you seen have you seen the video of after DMX like got out of jail? He's been in jail for so long. They had him try to type something into a computer on the internet. He didn't know what it was. <laughs> really? Oh, they heard sad. having him like do out a tweet. He's like typing. He's like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I got it. I got it. Do, no. do it. Do it. All right. I don't, I don't know. I'm, yeah. Okay. DMX. It's, but I, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, DMX bro. <laughs> did teach me how to cook eggs in the microwave. So did he? I gotta give him respect for that. Yeah. There is. He had like a mini documentary show. He's like, yeah, you just cook eggs in the microwave. And he just is like, he's like, a minute. And then he, you got to take them out, stir them up, another minute. And it like, I think he did like four or five minutes, and I learned how to cook eggs in the microwave. I don't think you should. Sounds but more difficult than just throwing them in a pan on the stove. Well, maybe you don't have that ready and available for you. So well, you know what, I'll say it even as, as fairly useless as that contribution to society is. <laughs> it's more than Jaws Exactly. Us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's more of a positive contribution. I mean, than Ja Rule say. So I guess this week's episode, fuck Ja Rule. Fuck oh, ja Rule. no. Come no, on. What? No, fuck Ja Rule. Fuck ja Rule. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I, I would. Absolutely. I, would. I still like He's a ja grifter that took me. He, he knew Team. what he was doing. Team 50. Yeah. Ja Rule knew ja Rule what he was had a doing. couple of songs, but that was 20 years ago, so what I can't. What would I be without you? Yeah. <laughs> fuck Ja Rule. Come on, man. I don't. Hey, Before we get out of here, fuck we, John. We, had, we had a good time. We, did, we discussed this. We love John Morant, though. John Morant, big ups. Yeah. Boys, guess what? Hmm. What? We're done with the East. Oh, thank God. I gotta go take a nap. Next week, we are headed to the Southwest Conference. Oh, wow. Oh, the Southwest. I don't even I know who's in that. I emphasized the wrong syllable. Um, <laughs> the syllable? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> oh, this guy's... I put, this the, guy's... I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> oh, this guy's had too much juice. <laughs> But we are finally done with the East. Um, so I think we have what as, at most we had what four teams in the East that we think can win it all. Um, we, I probably got more. I got to look at it. I you you down. were the one with four because you were Milwaukee, Philly, Boston, or, or, and you said Indiana. Yeah, and I said Indiana. Yeah, I think four. So you were the one with four. Yeah. I have two. I have Milwaukee or Philly. Those are the only two. Say I what you got to say. All. You just making faces at me over there. You think Indiana can win it all? Yeah, that's, that's what yeah, we said. That's, that's, nobody else will have them in that group. That's a, yeah. it's a totally fair question. Yeah, I, I think they will just because I think if well, Brogdon... You think they will? I, oh, I think there's a chance. Okay. Because so I think... saying if, there's a chance. If, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if Brogdon plays well and Oladipo comes back and is healthy, I think that's a good team. Just and, made all our listeners in Indiana... They're like, oh yeah, we got one. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> they're they're like super hillbilly. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, shoot! Once, once you get oh, out, here come the Pacers. <laughs> once you get outside of, Indi- of uh, Indianapolis, they're all fucking pretty redneck, just like Wisconsin or Illinois, or but, uh, basically any state. Yeah. Just to just to answer sign your, uh, your 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 preview for next week. Uh, next week we'll be discussing. This is a fun division, as most of the Western ones are. Dallas, Ooh. New Orleans, Ooh. Memphis. San Antonio, Southwest Memphis, and Houston. Those will be a great conversation. So I'm wow, looking, I'm looking forward to that division. Wow, what a terrific guys. audience! Yeah, absolutely. So as we get going here on Jabroni Sports, I just wanted to once again say thank you to Jacob first and No, the pleasure's all mine. Oh no, absolutely. Great. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Honestly, right. can I share in your pleasure? Yeah. That's kind of weird. No. Oh. <laughs> oh no. We always appreciate having a guest. We thank you for coming on and talking, talking a tough division, but making it a little bit more fun with us here today. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, I am at AJ F U E R S T E N A U. I'm at It's Your Boy Gonzo. I am at Real Tom Hanks. Do we have any more updates on uh, where you can listen to us? Um, we are officially on Google Podcasts. We're on YouTube. We are on iTunes, and we are on Spotify. 
So, right. so check us out in those locations. Again, if there's other places that you would like to listen to us, please slide into our DMs and let us know, and we will get that. Um, and please, videos um, on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share with one fa- one parent. Just one. And get that Patreon going. Yeah. That's yeah. That we, we're, we're, not, we're, we're, we're working not on it. You know, we actually have to get people watching these videos. and We, 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 make, vid- we make videos? I thought this was a podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, on YouTube, they're videos. Yeah, on YouTube, they're videos. Oh, okay. I, they're MP4 yeah. format, I, so every, suck it. I don't know if you're aware how YouTube works. Rate five stars. They're, they're videos, but yeah. there's rate, no rate video reviews. playing. Yeah. Smash rate that review. motherfucking like yeah. button. Smash rate that review. fucking like button. Subscribe. Download. Uh, undownload, redownload, resubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> get those, don't get those numbers up. No, hit, then resubscribe. Hit, the again. Uh, resubscribe. Uh, hit, hit that little bell, the alert button got, on got, YouTube. Got download, 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 download. download. Right. <laughs> so use all out. your computers and just download on your computer. <laughs> yeah, please go phone. to Best Buy email us. immediately <laughs> and download this podcast on every single <laughs> one of those phones. Yes. <laughs> Best Buy. Yep. Email us or, at Jabroni at or jabroni sports at gmail.com you know mm-hmm, let mm-hmm, us know mm-hmm. what we could do be, be doing better or if you want to just hit, up, hit us up at twitter but like you saw at jabroni underscore sports and that's yeah. about it mm-hmm. thank you boys it was fun let's do it again next week what do you say uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks I gotta go on vacation oh we'll be on, be on vacation next yeah, week yeah yeah I'm going to the Bahamas to scout oh for yeah. scout what but I can't disclose that information quite yet but you guys will hear about it in a couple weeks scout the Oh. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Well, with Whoa. that, uh, <laughs> Whoa. All right. Thanks Whoa. for listening, guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week, Jabronis. See you. Later. Later.